Hey, man, before we start the show, I just want to thank everyone who supports the show. And I also want to thank my co-hosts, M. Easy, Miss Nessa, and Kmart. Thank you guys for sharing and believing in the vision, even though this is an audio podcast. To my guy, Zach, you're here in spirit. And yes, folks, he's still alive. And to remind you guys, however you're listening to this podcast via Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Stitcher Radio, Google Play Music, YouTube, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Yes, we came a long fucking way. But make sure you subscribe, rate, review, and most importantly, share. For old time's sake, we took it back to where it all started. So for our day ones, I just got to say this. Shoddy, drop that beat. SoundCloud Music. Episode 100, man. Well, for old times sakes, all right, and <laughs> welcome for the back hundredth time for the <laughs> to the place where uh-huh. nothing is safe. Uh. This is episode 100. Woo! We did it! <laughs> up Mama, the is Mama up podcast. Mama, and I'm I your host, it. yo, it's Marco, and I, oh, actually, unfortunately, uh, M-Easy's not here I think he's still on the road coming back from Las Vegas after seeing his girl perform at Las Vegas at Colors. So mm-hmm. uh, hopefully he'll Monica. be here. <laughs> Shout out to Monica. Uh, Shout but out to Monica. In his place, man, we have our 11th member of the Wu-Tang. <laughs> he was, he's been, he was like, <laughs> he's been, he's that been is our, funny. <laughs> He's been, he's been our day one. He was here you since the inception, it. In man. In the beginning. You know he, was, he was our engineer, lightweight, my mentor, and I'm pretty sure I inspired him to start his you podcast. Right, man. So, man, none other than my guy, Shad G. What's happening, man? What's going down? <laughs> we here, man. All right. Yes, we got the original. Shad, we got Shad G, and of course... It's your girl, Miss Nessa, a.k.a. Blazing Mommy. It's your boy, Kmart, a.k.a. Clutch, a.k.a. That nigga in the back, a.k.a. It's a hundred. <laughs> This, this nigga then, then made his way from the back to the front. <laughs> yeah. This guy wasn't saying nothing on the side. Man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, man. I, can't, I can't cheat on this one, man. I got to yeah. All right. Man. All right. <laughs> so I did want to start <laughs> off with this, uh, you know, this quote resonated with me. I saw it on someone's IG story, and I just had to steal the, I had to plagiarize. So Jack move. So, so, you know, as they say, uh, Bad artist copy, good artist steal. So, <laughs> <laughs> with this quote, it says, A river cuts through rock, not because of its power, but its persistence. So, with this being episode 100, mm. it took a lot of persistence, mm. a lot of grit, a lot of uh, perseverance, a lot of determination to make it this far. Yes, sir. So, it's been a journey, you know, as they say, uh, a journey of a thousand steps starts with one, and that's what we did. We started off with one episode and another after that, and we didn't look back. We didn't look back at all. And, uh, man, I just want to ask you guys, respectively, what does episode 100 means to you? What, what about you, Kmar? What does episode 100 means to you? Oh, man. It's a milestone. I know it's a, other yeah, podcasts man. It's have that, been you know... doing it for, like, they, they're up to 800, but hey, fuck it. <laughs> right. it's, it's, hey, I mean, I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of podcasts that I, like, who didn't go to 100. Like, they just did a certain amount of episodes and, like, uh, and just, but I'm just glad that we, as a team, like, just being persistent, just consistently do everybody, you know, have work schedules and everything. Everybody have lives and stuff. So it's just, it's just great to actually have an, it's just like an accomplishment. So mm-hmm. yeah. we're going to keep going. So, I'm just I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of everybody else. I'm I don't say shouts to me, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go there, but I'm like nah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just proud that you know that you know you know you seen the vision and everybody had ideas and we can actually do something. And plus, it's it's fun. It's something you yeah. do outside. You know, you get your mind off. You can be something else from work or anything that's just you want to do something. Like it's so much fun, and I'm just I thank you to be proud and appreciate you know being here. So. Thank you, guys. Oh, you're welcome. What about you, Miss Ness? <laughs> um, what 
this episode means to me is um i don't know I, I, it just it stands for growth and you know i you know when you first invited me to the pod yes. as a guest originally to those that didn't know i was supposed to just be a guest on because, episode number 2 because i wanted to make sure that you know i didn't want to interfere with what you have mm-hmm. on your personal life so that's why I said, you know, you could come on sporadically if mm-hmm. you would like, because I don't know your schedule per se, but mm-hmm. you took it upon yourself mm-hmm. to be here week in and week out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even when you're on your it's world tour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> on the world you, tour. <laughs> you will call <laughs> that. Yeah, like, I met him. 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 So what made you that. decide, like, you know what? I like this. I want to... I Keep mean, going. I mean, just in general, like conversations that we've had, and and that's what made me. Even though, yes, in the beginning, I was a bit shy and quiet, but what you have said, Marco, was like, you know, it's just it's just a regular conversation, regular group conversation that mm-hmm. we always have. It's just gonna be on wax, like you know. So that mm-hmm. was the only difference. Um, so eventually, you know, I decided, okay, this is something I kind of like this, and it helped with you know just speaking. Even though it's just amongst each other, mm-hmm. I feel like the fact that, well, I didn't know he was going to be touching other countries, like the fact that we're actually doing that, I think that's so dope. Not only that, we reached 100, and I mean, fact, check me if I'm wrong, but are we the first in San Diego? The first I mean, San I wouldn't, podcast I, I wouldn't, to do that? I, you know, I'm being humble. Because uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's plenty of podcasts out here in San Diego. Yeah. And, and I'm learning that after going to the podcast movement. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. I met up with a nice lady named Muriel, and she gave me the link to another podcaster named Luis Martinez, who I would like to have on the show. Uh, he's an Afro-Latino uh, entrepreneur. So if you're hearing this for the very first time, Luis, I'm extend- extending my invite to you to come through and we could chop it up and have a com- com- uh, conversation mm-hmm. about entrepreneurship, uh, the black experience in uh, San Diego through the eyes of an Afro Latino. Mm. So uh, that would be a great conversation. And of course, man, our 11th member, <laughs> Shaji, uh, our yeah. engineer. Yes, sir. He, who's seen it all for the point of me at hitting them up yes, sir. for the studio, See, seeing <laughs> us fumble and bumble, seeing our growth process, man, mm-hmm. to, to, the point, to the point that he started his own podcast. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. Fly on the Wall, man. You guys What's are up? indeed the inspiration to do it. Um, <clears throat> just watching the whole process was ridiculously tight <laughs> to see you guys um, make it to 100, man. It's work. To yeah. do this, yeah. like you know what I mean. Yeah, and our podcast, you know. Um, shout out to Dashe. Shout out to my guy, uh, Ugly Twan. Um, we all, we all three of us have crazy busy schedules. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. From from me, you know, drumming everywhere and producing and working in the studio to Dashe being better than everybody going on tour. <laughs> you know what I mean? To Antoine with the sports with his kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. it's hard for everybody to be able to get together and, you know what I'm saying, and, mm-hmm. and do it. When we do, I mean, it's fun. But it's hard work. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no. It, it, and it's, so with this that. This is the easy part right yeah, here. Yeah, this is the easy <laughs> this part. This is the easy part. <laughs> yeah. So with knowing that and seeing you guys at episode 100, that's ridiculously tight mm-hmm. to me. That's fresh as hell, man. I, I commend it. I applaud it. You know what I mean? I, I tune in. I tune in. We cracking up still. Like, you know what I mean? We Raider fan. Oh, it was all. It was all love, man. It, from 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 jump to now to whenever. Like you know what I mean? So Absolutely. I'm proud of y'all, man. Real deal. Yeah, it's yeah, a beautiful right. thing. And about the schedule thing, because remember when Marco, when we went to the um, the podcast thing. Mm-hmm. A lot of when when we said there was like four of us, the first question they always asked was what? Oh, do how you do you guys, guys do it? How do you guys yeah. do it? Do you guys Skype? Do you guys do? They were like, no, we all get together. And they're just like, what? We just gotta take yeah. time. Yeah. It, you gotta That's want crazy. to make it happen. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get rid of all your excuses, all you left is with your mm-hmm. results. Mm-hmm. So right. yep. once you eliminate that shit, this is what you're with. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So yes, sir. so you know you you get what you give. Yeah. In, in this yep. particular community and in this industry yeah. because people don't know we're still in the golden age of podcasting yeah, podcasting yeah. hasn't been in, on the forefront and also when it comes to people of color black people especially yeah. mm-hmm. like when I go to these podcasting networking it's just me <laughs> a couple of cool white folks maybe mm-hmm. a couple of colonizers mm-hmm. and <laughs> a couple of colonizers <laughs> 
It's all Damn, jokes, man. white folks. Don't, don't get offended. It's, a it's joke. all jokes, it's white all folks. Jokes. <laughs> all, I like how you write, man. It's all jokes. We, it's all jokes, we, we, we white folks. We, we love y'all. We, love, we got love for everybody. Um, but yeah, man, the funny thing about it, man, I want to kick off this nothing is safe segment. Mm. And with my nothing is safe segment, segment uh, I'm calling it, of course, Get Out. And <laughs> it has so many layers to it. All right. Because one... A year from here, we had an episode in the studio mm -hmm. called Everybody Getting Shot. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said. That was the feeling I had with I was Chris, who was in that movie, and Get Out. <laughs> the moment he was in the room and he realized that Georgina was a free black down, woman. And yeah. the, it, like yeah. it was all the setup. I was like, right. yo, everybody getting <laughs> shot. Hell yeah. Right. That, that's why I named the title, which was one of our higher downloaded uh, episodes, by mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, a year from now... In honor of Oscar Day, because right now the Oscars is going down, yep. hosted by Jimmy Kimmel, Get Out is having, they have four nominations, Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Director, and Best Original Screenplay. Wow. Whether you loved it or hate <sighs> it, or just indifferent about it, you can't deny the social impact it left on black culture. Mm -hmm. If life imitates ours and vice versa, then I wonder how much inspiration Get Out drew from real events. Mm. The reason why I say that, because from the past years, there have been reports of black men and women going missing in the United States, <laughs> in, in the United States, especially in the South and the East Coast. Now, there's speculations of black men and women uh, having their, uh, let's say, their organs being illegally harvested to uh -huh. the black market. Mm -hmm. Uh Another form of kidnapping crazy, is falsely yeah. accusing young black men of crimes they did not commit and sending them to prison and not to be heard from their families. Mm. And the fact that these young black men are very poor and they can't afford the, or have the resources to find a good lawyer to defend them <laughs> and to prove their innocence. And, um, you know, what's a crazy thing. I did my little research. Maybe it's skewed or what, whatnot, depending to each his own. Mm -hmm. But according to the New York Times, one out of six black men have gone missing. As a society, it goes by the wayside because it's just America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and even I had to check myself. When I was at work one day, I'm doing my job, I see a missing poster of a black man in his 50s. Mm. Now... The dude, the dude wasn't little either. He, he looked like a big guy, like he could take care of himself. Like yeah. if shit go down, you, you wouldn't want to rumble with this dude in the dark yeah, alley, yeah. right? He looked like, like, yeah. look like old dude that was running the route. Oh, oh man, yeah. He looked like he could be. He could look like he could be like a a, a mall security type of nigga yeah. who'll, who'll punk a homeless dude. Like, hey, uh, you got to get up <laughs> out of here. <laughs> you know, he looked like he looked like one of those type of dudes, right? Uh -huh. So, um. You know, at first, you know, I didn't pay any mind to it. Mm -hmm. And then I even made a little f fun out of it. I'm thinking to myself, like, who the <laughs> fuck is going to make a big you. black dude disappear <laughs> out you? of thin air? How you letting people steal you, nigga? Like, <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is do going on? So after <laughs> exactly. So after doing my research, I had to apologize. Because this shit is no laughing matter. And... Niggas, go, as we're a camera, homie. Niggas go missing every day, B. <laughs> you tough, right? Listen here. So, oh, damn. So, Sorry. <laughs> if a nigga's out here getting kidnapped, man, oh, that's just kind of funny. If you hella big, yeah. got hands and everything, and you out here getting kidnapped, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I think that's pretty hilarious. I mean, imagine Shaq getting kidnapped. I'm Nigga. Aw, Now, nah, Shaq getting kidnapped. Listen. I, I, He's too damn big and too famous. <laughs> hey, kidnapped. That's what I'm saying. Well, you say, Kmart, if you just <laughs> randomly like goes go missing, like Aww. we just like, oh, what happened? <laughs> then we then we find you, and then you're like, we're like, what hey, happened? Where the fuck you been? Look, man, they <laughs> they just took me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. bro. Shit, you can lift my we're ass gonna up. We're gonna laugh yeah. our asses <laughs> off of that, man. <laughs> Out here getting kidnapped. That's crazy. <laughs> My ass getting kidnapped. Man, you better sound like that nigga off the uh, Alchemist album. Nigga, it was like 30 of them. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I got to lie my ass off, man, because that's, that's pretty pathetic, though. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. They put some, some in my drink or, you know. Yeah, yeah so. They, yeah. they put some in my burger or some shit like that. I don't know. So my question to y'all is, what would you suggest to prevent this from happening to you or to your loved ones? 
Well, what would you suggest? They usually are because honestly, people that go under the that yeah, are under the yeah, radar, yeah. Because radar, honestly, right? this yeah. is uh, you know everybody talk about the prison prison industrial complex being modern day slavery. Mm-hmm. These kidnappings and these black men and women going missing is another form of reverse underground railroad. Now, if mm. you guys don't under- know what that is, that's basically when uh, free black men and women in the north would get kidnapped take their ass down to the South to become slaves, like 12 years to slave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, this is reverse uh, underground railroad happening all over again in modern times. Mm. I just wanted to put that in <clears> there <throat> as well. So what would you guys do to prevent that from happening? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Shadi's face. <laughs> I, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. <laughs> I so know when to hear oh, this. Stay with your... Stay close to your peeps and shit, man. <laughs> buddy system? Don't, buddy system. Buddy system. Don't go out in the boonies and shit. Like, you know, <laughs> hey, we're going to go up north. All right, man, you good, man. All right. <laughs> I ain't going to. If I can't roll with you, hey, I'm good, dog. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Listen. It's, it's, have your phone Have your phone on, have your phone charged all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Shit. I'm screaming, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna scream. I'm something. screaming either rape, <laughs> stranger danger, or something. Like, you feel stranger what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm doing yeah. something. I'm gonna cause a scene. You know what I'm saying? You have to work for this kidnapping. Bro. You feel like, what I'm, I'm saying? I'm biting you. I'm scratching. It's you. going I'm down, he bro. Like, 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 I'm shit. kicking it everything. Like, hey, hey, hey! You gotta no. kidnap me. Listen, ah. because just like. Um, just like in Get Out, remember an old boy went across the street like, fuck this shit. Exactly. Yeah. Nigga, I would have been balling out. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Nope. This, no. Hey, this <laughs> motherfucker following me. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Right. There's some running going on, yeah. bro. I'm not just walking and just nah, being, I, nah, I'm not the <laughs> fastest runner, but they, they yeah, going to take a long know, time to get my ass. So. You ever been chased by a pit? <laughs> yep. I promise you, your 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 uh your Michael Phelps Phelps speed, your your car, what's his name, Carl Lewis? Carl, you run that well, fast. Carl, Michael Johnson, Carl, Carl Lewis, Michael Johnson, Michael, whoever. Yeah, Michael Johnson. I'm Jesse telling Owens. you, if a pit, this is almost like Usain a pit Bolt. chasing you. Who's yeah, Mister Bolt? Uh, no, that's you are gonna run no, that, no, the that's fastest. Real, your no, adrenaline but, is gone. Yeah, no, that's real. They're not catching me. That the other the other day, I think who was that? Was I telling you guys that I was driving and then I seen this like. This heavy set like white dude, he was gone, and I was like, it was dude, in downtown, you and I was like, I could have sworn, star. I could have sworn like he like he stole something, and I was like watching, I was like, what the hell? And then because he was running so fast, but he was trying to <laughs> catch the bus, and then the, <laughs> sorry, it's not funny, but it was funny, and then the it's bus not funny, had, but it's funny, and then the <laughs> bus left, yeah. and I low key was about, and I was like driving Lyft, and I low key wanted to turn around, like, hey, do you want me to take you to the next bus stop? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I I didn't, but I was going. I was going to because I felt bad because he like Some how fast of, he ran. You could tell it was that adrenaline. I'm telling you, like, when no. you are scared, <laughs> yeah. you turn into an athlete. I <laughs> promise you, Fight yo, your, light, right? Right? You, your fundamental, yo, your fundamentals start shit. kicking <laughs> in and everything. Star, Marco, you you know me on this your one, how, man. Your apartment. With my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. My, I got a call. I was at, I was working and shit, <laughs> and my boss like, hey man, I said you got a phone call. I'm like, hey, I'll call him later. He said no, it's important. I'm like. And then he told me, he's like, hey, um, Mark, Mark will call me. He's like, yo, they say your shit is on fire. I'm oh, like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I was checking the And I was checking it. I was checking in person. I was at the hotel and shit. I told him, hey, uh, somebody go. go take over here. I got to go. So I left that person <laughs> checking in. I ran my ass off. before it, And I remember the, the yeah. valleys were like, yo, I've never seen you <laughs> run like that in my entire life. Kmart. Listen. Kmart was running like Ben Affleck did in Batman vs Superman. Like Tom in the opening in the opening sequence, bro. remember when Batman was watching the destruction of Metropolis? Yo, yeah, he shit. was running like that. Yes. I was like, this motherfucker looked like you, a man. super soldier. And, <laughs> oh, and then, turn uh, into something. Serious. And, then, and to top it off too, so I went there, right? So I'm like, uh-huh. shit, make sure no smoke or anything like that. I said, um, it's so I seen the fire fire marshal and the, the fire guy order. He's like, okay. He said, hey man, that's in the lock. He's like, I don't see no. Um, no, the smoke under there. I say, like, hey, I'm gonna get. I just want to to get something. Like I get my like my terabyte and all that stuff because fuck everything else. I, yeah. it's, uh, my entire life is on there. So yeah. I'm like, hey, can I get something out there? And I was going to open the door. He said, stand back. I'm like, huh? <laughs> and he kicked my door. <laughs> he oh. fucking kicked my door. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, are you serious? Yeah, he broke my. So he broke my door. He's a. Pl- <laughs> he like clear. I'm like, yo, <laughs> homie, clear. Like, hold up, <laughs> breach. Like, I'm like, homie, I got my key right here. <laughs> I'm like, Fuck I'm about to open key, the nigga. door. Like, there's no smoke underneath. You know that shit, too. Then, then he, he no, turned no, around. No, wait. Yeah. I got to kick it. I got to kick it. No, I got to kick it. Right. I got to kick it. No. 
You don't hear me. I have to kick it open. <laughs> I, I, I have to kick it. I, I, no, you don't have to. I Standard was so operating procedure. I have to kick right, the door in. Regardless door. if you have the key in your fucking hand, yeah. I want to kick some shit, all right? I had a bad day with my wife. I need to take it out on something, so I'm kicking so, the fucking door in, all right? Be like, be like... I've always wanted to do And it's coming out of your taxpayer money, okay? No. So here's the funny part. So he did that and my homeboy and my uh, my next door neighbor. Yeah. So I'm like, 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 I'm and he's like, oh, make sure you need everything clear. I'm like, there's no damn smoke under here. I'm good. <laughs> like I'm saying, like, so now I'm like, okay, now I know I'm fine. So he went out and did his thing. I'm thinking to myself, now nah, I can't fucking go back home. I, my, my shit is open. I can't and go back home. And he got a busted ass door. I got a busted ass door. I'm like, I'm not going back to work. I'm like, fuck y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> staying here. I'm right there. I'm saying my ass right there. My, my boss is heated, but yes, I was like, yo. All like. right. But yeah, to <laughs> circumvent yeah. Yeah. back to what we were talking about because of uh, – Adrenaline when you're forced with that situation as a woman, mm. how, because that's double yeah. for you. You know what I mean? Because women are even more vulnerable to kidnappings and attacks yeah. like this, especially at night. So, True. what would you suggest for just for the women's sake out there who are listening to this podcast? Well, shit. <laughs> I know uh, too much weight on your shoulders right there. <laughs> well, no, no I pressure. Mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I would do the same thing Shadi did. Said <laughs> I would have no choice but to scream, scene, you know, fight back and do all that. But to be <clears throat> honest, to be honest, I feel like if you're in a setting that is, for, most likely they're gonna come at people who are in a setting where they're alone, right? Or there's not enough right. people, and they're probably to the point where they might get you with the um, the sneak attack, you know, like a. Uh, like they put something in a the rag ether. Mm-hmm. The or ether something, or put, get a shot or something. So I honestly, I I wouldn't know how to prevent there, but but to not be in, not to put yourself in a situation. Yeah, like not that. to put yourself in a precarious like that's the situation. Only thing right. that I would suggest, especially being a woman. I mean, because with me driving, doing lift, everybody is like, "Oh my gosh, why are you driving this late at night?" And I'm just like, "Shit." Honestly, like, my, like I, I locked saw, my car. I saw one. I, my, my I saw doors. one lady on Snap. She's a lift driver, and she got the taser. She showed it mm. on her snap, like, just, just, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Technically, bows, did you know we're not allowed to carry pepper spray, tasers, what? none of that? To As protect Uber yourself. As yeah. drivers, we're not allowed wow. to. Shit. Man, please. But I ain't trying to come up missing. I got I got my pepper spray, but I do want to get a taser, though. There it is. I think that would yeah. be fun. <laughs> I'm now, now, just for fun. Now, now she's having for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to taste one. Oh, uh, <laughs> for me, like, I mean, like Shadi said, start, start a scene. Start a commotion. Start, start a commotion. Man. Say some crazy Dancer shit. Dancer or something. Like, get, get, off you know what I mean? get off me. I, I get yeah. off me. Maybe, hey. maybe do something crazy like them pranksters. You know what I mean? You want to fight a nigga and you just start taking your clothes off and right. you start chasing him with his he underwear. Said, there it is. <laughs> I'm you saying. know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I got a pig. Pull your dick out. Pee on him or something. Like, nigga, you got to do something <laughs> yeah, to get him yeah, off. Yeah. The <laughs> He's like, oh, what are you doing? What, what, what are you well, doing? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Well, uh, I don't this, think I want him. Part, this part part of the plan. I don't, I don't think I want to kidnap him I, no more. No, no. As a female, I can't do that because they'll get, uh, shit, uh, they'll like that shit. Like, yeah, just oh, yeah, I love the crazy <laughs> one. Just keep on stripping. That would be crazy. But at the end of the day of this Nothing is Safe segment, um, because it drew inspiration from Get Out. Be very careful of your surroundings. Your surroundings. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Because nothing is safe out in these streets. Never. Street streets. <laughs> out in these streets. You know what I mean? And, street I, street. and I hope they went. I hope they win one too. They got. Street street. They got robbed at the Golden Globes. I'm and, just saying. So they better win one. Yeah, yeah. Be I, hope, I, hope, I hope they win an Oscar. They got four yeah. nominations. Yeah, got four. Got Come on now. So I hope yeah. they go one for four. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Win one. Win you know, one. Least. Well, you're good. Yeah. So. <laughs> I concludes my Nothing Is Safe segment. I'm going to kick it off to Miss Nessa for the NSA. And since we're here in the studio, oh, there's no yeah. pre-recorded ah, jingle. Ah, ah, oh, no. You got to do it for the you one time, to. for the one time, for the one time. All right. Maybe make a whole new beat. Hey. There it is. Oh, man. Okay, I'll try <laughs> This is live. See, y'all put me in a spot. Live too. and direct. <laughs> Bring right, it to it. your neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> you need some water? No, I'm good. Right. You need some water? This is Nessa's service announcement.
Yeah. Oh, that's a live one, baby. <laughs> pause. <laughs> now, that's no a nice year. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> where's the water? <laughs> he said, where's the water? That's funny as fuck. <laughs> no, but thank you for that. You're thank welcome. Thank you for that. That shit's funny as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. NSA. Done at the studio. Haven't done one of these at the studio in a long time. Yeah. So you ain't gonna hear no sirens in this bitch. No, si- <laughs> <laughs> no sirens. Um, all right, y'all. This is Miss Nessa, and today's NSA is called Body Count. Dun, 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 dun. Speaking oh, of bodies, <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> okay, so okay, um, so I just want to know Body Count mm. is it a deal breaker or not? Like, does it matter? Who deems it as right or wrong? And is it based on what society tells us, right? Okay. Because I believe it is what it is. You can't erase someone's past. I'm sorry. I don't care what Drea says. (laughs) There's no hitting that reset button on your wholeness. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. (laughs) Um, (laughs) As long as 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 your body count doesn't affect me. um, But I do believe there are... Some factors that may that that will determine whether or not it's an issue. Okay, so here are some of the factors that I came up with. Mm-hmm. Um, number one, it depends who you slept with. Mm-hmm. Are you just sleeping with any and everyone? You know, you can't judge the past, but <clears throat> if you're still to, doing it till this day, then no thanks. I mean, right. you're, you know, it's like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You're depreciating value, and your stock is currently crashing. I want no parts. Um, number two, <laughs> are they women that I know? Because there's a huge difference. People may not think about it, but there's a huge difference between someone I know and someone I know of. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we say it all the time. San Diego is small. It's very small. You know, so if every person you slept with that I knew of and I held that against you, then that's dumb, you know? And it's also known as blocking my blessings because <laughs> 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 because nobody's perfect, right? Um, but now if that person was my best friend or someone that I'm very close to, then nah, like yeah. I, I want to, I ain't fucking with it because that's girl code just like, you know, guys <laughs> yeah. would do it, you know, yeah. with guy code. Right. Um, Some niggas don't be caring. Yeah. They don't. Uh, they don't. be like, Bullshit. They don't, you know. Like, how long ago was that? How long ago was that? Oh, that was about eight years ago, homie. She she probably had like at least a a couple of more in her before before (laughs) I get to the picture, homie. So, like, how? But how (laughs) I personally view it? How I personally view it? I don't want. I don't want my girls hand me downs. I really, Mm. I really don't. But as a rule of thumb. Like kind of like what you guys were saying. Um, if it was nothing serious, then yeah, they're free game. They're mm-hmm. free game. Um, but personally, for me, like I said, I want no parts because you know what's good for the goose ain't always good, good for, the for the gander. gander. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's face it, for the most part, women talk, men talk. Um, if it's someone that you banging, whether it be a fuck buddy, friends with benefits, your boo, ex boyfriend, whatever you want to call them, your best friend will know about them. Mm-hmm. And if they don't. They're not your fucking best friend. <laughs> <laughs> but up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I say all that to say this. Um, if in your past you choose to bang a thousand women on some Will Chamberlain type shit, you know what I mean? Um, or... But you choose me <laughs> to be number 1001. As long as you're clean, as long as you're safe, and as long as I know what your intentions are, whatever we have as an agreement on whether... Um, it's us trying to build, working on a relationship, or if we decide we just want to be friends with benefits or fuck buddies or whatever, I'm cool with it. As long as I'm clear with what you're asking of me, body count to me is just that a number. <clears throat> but sorry, let me get some water. That's okay. Sit let me get some water. water. Yep. Who is yep. the N- What is it? The N- the NSA. NSA. The NSA. Well, got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Yeah. Throw a little drop. With the body count. The NSA got gotcha. you. Now, <laughs> if you all got, this yapping. If you need some real. water. Mm. <laughs> that's real. Um, that's a lot of a thousand. That's pretty pretty. Yeah. Pretty well, let's just but, say this: you have more than uh, Killmongers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Your body count more than Killmongers. 
You need professional <laughs> help. Shit, right? That's, shit, I, I want no parts. Right. <laughs> nah, but, um, but there's always that double standard, you know. When women sleep with a bunch of men, it's an issue, right? Mm-hmm. Um, she a hoe, she a slut, she a freak. Got, got a different girl every, every day, day of the week. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, you know, Lil' Kim, Lil' C's uh, crush on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Classic. If, Classic. If, if Classic. she don't know about that song, she's too young she's for you. She's too young, young for you, Keep it moving. <laughs> Gina's such a story. Uh-uh, yeah, much too young. <laughs> nah, but, nah, but back to what I was saying. Um, when it comes to women, it's more looked at, you know, negatively. It's frowned upon. But for men, when he sleeps with a bunch of women, he's the man. Well, you know that <laughs> old saying about the key and the lock analogy, right? Yes. <laughs> no. But I give no, no fucks. You never heard, it. You oh, never you never heard, heard the key and the no- lock analogy? <laughs> Go ahead, Mark. Elaborate. Cool okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of a lock Listen if every key could open the unlock you the lock? you damn right. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, I have heard that before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good one, brother. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 you know, a, a master key is able to unlock any lock. Mm. There you have it, folks. Mm. It may sound misogynistic, <laughs> but these are facts. These are facts, homie. Numbers homies. don't He's lie. He's got the master key. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> 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 but I got the master you key. You got <laughs> But uh, uh, go but yeah, but no, but like I say, you know, for the most part, he's a man, and although mm-hmm. yes, for the most part, that's what people grew up on. Um, it is what it is. People still think like that till this day, and you can't really fault people for carrying on thoughts of what they were raised upon. <laughs> but I, but I say this in the same breath that, but I can't say in the same breath that it's 2018. And as women, we are a little bit more liberated, and we tend to like sex just like guys do, if Shout not to Amber Rose. more. Yep. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so as a woman, again, I can't speak for anyone else, but I can only speak for myself. In this case, I, I think I told I think I told you about this, Marco. Um, I told myself that I'm currently only choosing to sleep with. With uh, hey, remember you sharing it with the world. I, I, I am. I'm not. Right. It's not like the I world, the names. Craig. <laughs> oh, the so whole okay. world, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm currently uh, sleeping with one guy right now. But right. I told myself that I'm giving myself two guys max <laughs> this year, and I say that because again, I I heard three is a magic uh, number. Yeah. I, The reason why I originally killed it for everybody, I was going, "Mm." but (laughs) no, but the um, the re uh, I can't talk. I originally chose two Uh because, um, again, like I said, I'm already sleeping with one guy right now, but I would like for my next person that I sleep with to either be this guy still or someone that I'm going to be with, um. And you're talking about a long-term relationship? Yes, monogamous long-term. relationship? A monogamous yes. relationship. Okay, so you got to let them know what you want. That, exactly. Yeah. Put your cards on the table. Yeah, put your cards on the put table immediately. <laughs> mm. um, but, yeah, but I ended up changing it to three. I was saying originally it was two, but I changed it to three because I'm not going to fret. I actually, someone slipped through the cracks. <laughs> but don't judge me. It's leaked. I'm li- I'm living in my truth right now. I'm living in my truth. Um, and the truth self said to you, sister. <laughs> but I allowed it to happen. Amen. It was consensual, you know. But I guess I did. You guys have forgot. a contract? No, but I guess I forgot to a mention contract. it because it wasn't worth remembering. You know, step right up. It, if you it wasn't think worth you're the man for the job. But um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, mm. so number three is the limit. No limit, baby. <laughs> Since I already had two. <laughs> no, and it's only no, March. No, no. It's only March. So I got what? Nine nine no. Ten more ten more months? Nine. So, nine you more months. Nine. I was right. You have nine, nine months. months to go. <laughs> but I but low key, remember I had my little rant, you know, and uh Zach was there to <laughs> to step into daddy mode. But I you group know, chat. I was just yeah, mm. with the group he chat. Said, I was no. like on some fucking shit, like you know what I mean, like three sounds good, but shit happens, shit happens. You know, because like, three would have turned into 15. I mean, but they say greatness never, you know, ah. never ha- never happens if you set limitations. So. She got the magic. <laughs> That's three times five. She is yeah. on the universe. <laughs> <laughs> if you're the <laughs> lucky <laughs> guy out there. That electric eel over there. You're in a long-term relationship. Here's your chance. 
<laughs> nah, but on the real though, that fellas go get your key made. Yes. But no, but look, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing until we both decide, and that it's mutual, that we either want to commit to one another or if we no longer want to do what we're doing. But till then, I'm just gonna be chilling and focusing on me because, like I said, I need to drink my water, mind my damn business. Uh -huh. um, but anyway, you know, enough of, enough of my rant. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on body count? Does it matter? Body Is it a count. deal breaker? And if so, why or why not? Is it because society tells you or is it because of your own beliefs who wants to go first okay body counts i'll go ahead and take a shot at hey, body let's counts. hear it all right Kill <laughs> killmonger <laughs> body counts body counts uh Just i myself <laughs> compared to other males in this uh in the world mm -hmm. or in black culture okay i am a fucking prude uh my numbers <laughs> are below the average standard of a sexually active black male in his 30s. Mm, mm. Um, and could I proudly say it? No. Can I proudly say that? Am I sh ashamed of it? No. It is what it is. No. So um, people have to remember, you niggas can't say, oh, I want a girl who know how to give head, yep. bounce on it, know how to fight back, look back at it, and all that. Like, nigga, she has to get practice from somewhere else. How would she have all these skills before she met you? Hey. You know what I mean? Hey, but so if her obviously first she's was done a this porn star. With, with someone. <laughs> she yeah. got either, it could be, it could if, be She could be with sorry. one dude learning all these tricks, or she could learn these tricks from 15 different dudes. Mm. The thing is, she has experience. And you can't, like, you use that as a you know a deal breaker like well damn she got around like she do this a little too well mm. like damn I, she really good <laughs> you know like she gets you know and, and I think sometimes yeah it's society and I think it also has to deal with the male ego because yeah. you know you don't want to know that yeah she done things before you mm -hmm. before right. you came along into the picture that's just life. Mm -hmm. You gotta or you don't accept want that, or you don't want what everybody else had. Yeah. Or, that, or, as as far as males, they be thinking like different I mean, skills. Some involved. niggas don't give a damn about some that, dudes man. don't Especially care. Yeah. Right? yeah, if you attracted to it, and it's yeah. like hell yeah, I'm here. Like you know, but they yeah. probably won't let the person you know what I'm saying who was messing with it beforehand right. know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. It's they gonna keep it like, oh yeah, I ain't gonna let this nigga know that I'm hitting me, bitch. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you so, gotta keep it, keep yeah. it, keep it between the you two know. of y'all. Some niggas is weird like that, though. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But eh, it's life, like you said. Yeah, you it, it's life. I mean, and for anyone who's niggas in their early twenties, I understand that a, a young <laughs> man's ego is gonna Have get fun. to him. Right. And <laughs> I'm letting y'all young niggas know right now. It's a part of life, homie. Yeah. She's going to suck some different dicks. You're going to eat <laughs> you some have different to accept pussies. It. And you're going to have <laughs> yeah. to accept it because it's a part of life. And yeah. that's how everyone's going to get better <laughs> to, to make the yeah. performances happen. <laughs> that's when the skills come into that's, play. That's how it comes into play. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when, when boxers go into the gym, they spar with different people yep. to for preparation for their big fight. Yes, it's kind of like that with maybe having different sexual partners, mm. especially if you're living that lifestyle, if you're going out there mm -hmm. being very sexually active, I hope that you have great hygiene. Oh, mm. yes, please. Yes. You got to practice great hygiene. Can't be out here fucking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you got to, yeah. Wash up, you know, wash manscape or women yeah. get oh. waxed or get laser remover removed or just have a nice little trim bush wherever you guys do it. Hey. Keep it nice and neat. Mm -hmm. I remember I remember my mom always tell me this. When you have your own place, um, you know, she didn't set the standard super high on me mm -hmm. about cleanliness, but she said there's two damn things I'm gonna make sure that you have in your head when you have your own place. Two things you keep clean. Your kitchen and your bathroom. Yes, sir. So when, <laughs> so when you are out there being sexually active like that, think about your genitals being your kitchen and mm. your bathroom. Keep that motherfucking clean at all costs. It is your health as well. Clean your tools. Make sure you get checked out. Go to the go to the clinic. Yeah. Make sure you're clean because not everyone is Mister and Mrs. Clean out here. That's true. And That's true. um, but yeah, body counts. You know, as I. As I get older, you know, you just, it's just a part of life. Yeah, there'll be moments when you find out that your girl smashed some dude, and you're just like, that nigga? 
Really? You let him hit? You know, and that might turn you off. So sometimes it's come, maybe it's better don't ask, don't tell. Right. Ignorance is bliss in certain things. Maybe <laughs> some things you don't need to know about and just enjoy who's in front of you mm-hmm. instead of what she did in her past right. and vice versa. That's my take on it. How about you guys? Oh, you don't you don't want to check the the tail of the tape, the stats, or anything <laughs> like that. He's so dumb. I mean, I mean, because you know you don't want to get the no. Like, okay, you got the hint. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I mean, you, it can it can also be beneficial too as well. Yeah, you should not forget about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I kind of got to agree with that. Just. <laughs> I have done pretty much have to say, so <laughs> he said it all, brother. He <laughs> yeah, pretty much it said it all. I mean, no, that's just, I kind of agree with most majority of points that he's pointing on. What that, about so. you, Shadi? You season, you a season player out here? That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> I saw you. I'm actually not a season player like that, bro. Season brother. player, huh? And, 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 I'm, I'm and, just and to note, and to, <laughs> and to note that this brother was out here having a lot of fun at R and B only. Believe that, man. Uh, I have fun sure everywhere is. I go, man. You know what I'm saying? And the women were vultures, yo, out there R and B only. I don't, uh, <laughs> fellas, if you're single. <laughs> And every time an R&B only comes to San Diego, yes, go there, man, because you will walk out with something. You will. The I'm... women of vultures, man. They got, <laughs> I'm they mad got, I missed they out. They got the R&B <laughs> music playing. They got too, the, the, they're the liquors in the system. Nah, I fuck, I fuck Ain't no up. telling if they fuck you or they diss you. <laughs> Yeah, that I was hella so, told. That's the, and it's, it's hella easier for, for you. It's easier for the men to serenade the women because uh, all the songs are... R&B. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, everybody so they already sing. set the mood. Everybody for you. sounding they the same. <laughs> I mean, shit, they gonna Nobody is sounding bad. They have to dance with somebody. Right? I guess to somebody. Yeah. Somebody gotta get a slow dance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah, for real. So, but with that being said, I'm gonna pass it off to the season player, even though he's trying to keep it humble. <laughs> no, it's right not here. that I'm keeping it humble. I'm honest. Like, like how are you, are man? Uh, I'm not. So no I'm not. Me. I'm not. I'm not a season player like that. I don't. I mean, I've had my fair share. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you feel me? I, yeah. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shoot, I, I, I mean, I, I'm like this. No matter, no matter who it is and who you are, I mean, your, I mean, your life totally could change. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, it's almost like you, you, if you see, if you can see past it, then it's almost like hitting the reset button. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, like, if you're having that stuck in your mind of some somebody having so many partners, then it's like, well. What do you expect if this is your only thing that you're wanting this person for? Uh, but then you gotta also look at yourself and say, "Well, damn, I did this, and this person still don't, and this person don't give a damn about that. Why am I tripping off of mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You gotta have that mindset now, like yeah. you know, that's like a grown, it's like a grown mindset, like for real, yeah, yeah. like you know, you young, it's just like." Oh yeah, she didn't did. She didn't did. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, and you're we'll, not we'll, even we'll, thinking we'll. about all the bullshit you did. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, bro. When you get to a certain age, it's just like, I they, can't. We I always, can't. we all somebody stop you seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. we all have had a situation where it's just like, you know, we can't look at somebody else sideways because we know we've done shit up, down, sideways, yeah. all kinds and then, of crazy and then, you shit. Know, like, and you know how you really mature about the situation? That's if you like. If you know, like, if you had, you know, like, you met a woman and you guys did y'all thing in y'all early 20s or something, yeah. you notice that she moved on, she's married, she's mm-hmm. happily married in relationship, right. but you could respectfully respect her new guy. you damn right. And mm-hmm. respect her I'm and like wish this. him the best. I'm like this. If you see if you see her, if you see this chick and she done moved on, she got married, she got kids, and it's a total, totally, you know, Boy. it's almost like a clean slate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you decide you want to bring up old shit... Bring it up to that man if you big and bad like that. Exactly. Like you know what I'm saying? If you, you gotta if be you, respectful, you, man. You hella gotta be respectful. You ain't gonna most run up to that yeah, dude definitely. and say that. He gonna whoop, probably whoop your ass. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you don't want to yeah. take that ass whooping. <laughs> so yeah. shut your punk ass up <laughs> and do your little kid shit or grow up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. I mean, it it, it doesn't help that society is the way it yeah, is. Yeah. You know what I mean? So and and yeah. and, it, and it just ca- and within our culture, you know, yeah, it's how crazy. we how we react like nigga, I hit that before. Oh, I hit that first. Yeah, like Pull nigga, the rage like, I hit first. Like, hella rage. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Hella you, did you did you hit it first? But did you hit it best? But did you hit hey. it best? Yeah. Did you hit it best? Because yeah. obviously she I hit it first. Yeah, well, it. shit. <laughs> she had a baby and everything about me, nigga. Right. Uh, like, you did what you did first, nigga. Like you know what I mean. 
So, nigga, shut, sit your punk ass down. I like, I was like, you mad all you, you did was young. practice. That's what it is. <laughs> right. That's funny. Practice. That's real. Because, yeah, like, man. I mean, I know I'm pretty open with my mm-hmm. sexual experiences. But, like, I've said before, like, I never really cared to suck dick before. Uh-huh. You can ask any of my ex-boyfriends. It was, like, a chore to me. Um, but now, I mean, not just to anybody, but the particular guy that I'm fucking with right Don't now. Don't get these guys too excited, please. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Let, 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 let whoa, speak. Whoa, whoa. I'm just saying, <laughs> right. like... Continue. Depending on who the person is, you want to talk, you know? get it off the mind. <laughs> Let it get it off. I mean, this mind. is the place where nothing is safe. <laughs> so, like, no, I'm just saying that in uh, <laughs> yeah. So, if, so if you know, if, if if you were to speak to my first boyfriend, he could be like, "Oh yeah, you know, I hit that first, but shit, I didn't like sucking your dick. Like, I enjoy sucking <laughs> this guy's dick right now. So what? So what the fuck does that mean?" So fuck the past. Whoever that ex is, yeah, man. Well, okay. I hope you enjoy that <laughs> up around there. No, so. but, but to, to, maybe a little thug tear just came out of his eyes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> to, but to piggyback off of what you said earlier, Marco, uh-huh. I get it. You know, you said about your mom was saying you got to keep, you know, you got to keep your kitchen, kitchen and, and your and your bathroom. Keep yeah. your tools clean. Keep your tools clean. Um, the the <laughs> thing that I cannot, and I know a lot of women can feel me on this, but. You know, guys be wanting to smash or, oh, wanna, let me eat that. And I'm just, you know, so I, I'm no, testing no, 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 them. No. And I'll be like, well, shit, I haven't shaved. I haven't got whacked, blah, blah, blah. Man, you know I don't care about that. Those be the same motherfuckers that be on social media talking shit like, oh, nah, she got to do this. She got to right. have this. She got to be clean. Motherfucker, you was in my inbox. I told you that my <laughs> shit wasn't. But, you know, right. I don't be putting people on blast like that. Right. Mm. But so some people, they, I mean, clean, clean. The but to keep my, I keep myself <laughs> self clean. I wouldn't let it get all crazy. Yeah. But some motherfuckers. I also pay attention to what women eat, too. Like, that was one of my mm. other things, too. Like, what, you know, what goes in your body manifests elsewhere. So, like, mm. during my single days, I, I was very particularly what women eat <laughs> mm-hmm. you know um yes i'm vegan my girl is a non-vegan but for a non-vegan she eats pretty healthy yeah for a mm-hmm. non-vegan so you know compromises in relationships different yeah. lifestyles <laughs> you know i mean yeah if i see man you if I don't be girl, fine <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a fine chick be... eating chitlins is like, oh my uh, god, you feel me? <laughs> that's just that, that's bad. Like I will throw out. Oh my god, oh god, that's chitlins. like that's like you watching somebody smoke a, do you, a cigarette. Quick question: Do you guys know me, any? Like, you guys know any friends or anybody like like love chitlins? I, yes. I, honestly, I, you know somebody. Other, I'm not counting over like older people too. I'm talking I got about, a like, friend, our I friends. got a homeboy that loves. Oh man, you put some hot sauce. I'm looking at him like I'm judging you right, right now. Like, <laughs> man, why are you eating that? Like, why are you why eating are you that? About it. Yeah, no, it's so funny because even right like and around our age group and stuff, I like I never found a person like who actually loved chitlins. It's always like those older folks, nope. your old uncles, your, your right. grandmas, your mm-hmm. older uh, aunties, and everything like that. But I've never seen nobody like like our age or younger be like, hey, yo, you should, yo, I have some chitlins. You got to face right now, just listening nasty, to him talk I mean, about like, that. He looks so disgusted. <laughs> oh, man, so bad. Face is priceless, man. Like somebody looks forward yo. to Christmas because they, 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 <laughs> yo, I used to serve chitlins. I'm like, that's what you happy for, my nigga? Like, for real? My grandma used to Die, put, put chitlins all the time. Man, I used to stay in my room, dude, and close the door because the smell, dude. Oh, the whole, the whole house be smelling. I'm like, yo, like. How, how you clean them and they still smell? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't. Understand? Hot sauce saying, man. God. I know you put, so I know, nasty. I know you put hot sauce on everything, but goddamn, dude, like that, that's just stuff. Oh my God, bro, that's so gross. And then shit. also, you gotta remember, ah. if you're gonna eat shit, <laughs> literally, nigga, you can't clean it out because it's still shit. It's like, still shit. you know what I mean? Like, you're like, oh, I cleaned it out real good. I bought, like, nigga, it's, it's still, still shit. 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 Yeah. And, and and that's 400 years ago. Can we move on from that, black folks? <laughs> Can we move on and be better you than shit that? shit to shit again. We don't have to do that. That <laughs> is you scraps. You don't that. have to do that anymore. <laughs> it, 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 we have grown so far. Nigga, we had a black president. <laughs> we just had a mainstream black superhero movie. Oh, my God. We got an original black movie, that a horror movie that's a, that's nominated for four uh, Oscars. <laughs> we, we have come so far. What and a time to be alive. <laughs> black folks, please, I implore you, stop eating shitlins. <laughs> that's what the fuck they are, man. The name alone, bruh. Shitlins. shitlins. Like, nigga, shitlins. you gonna eat that? Like... 
do you hear what you're calling it? Like it's just yeah. chitlin. Like what chitterling? Ch- and there ain't no Ch- way. Ch- hey, <laughs> however you put it, it just sounds like some horrible shit, and it should not be going in your freaking body. I mean, yeah, yeah. I've always said that. I say yucky, I can't put yuck. something in my mouth that you know shit eat, smells eat shit like anymore. smells Good gross. Lord. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that would be a deal breaker for me. I don't give yeah, a fuck. Like you eat chillings, chillings. <laughs> so you eat chillings. Yes, it's over. You see the finest one in the world. Because I, <laughs> you eat chillings. It could be two weeks later, and I feel like <laughs> your breath is still gonna smell like the chillings you just ate. Good lord! It could be two weeks later because I'm still gonna think like, nigga, you was hella killing them chillings. Like, <laughs> And, and I bet you was watching, watching it like that. And you put like, Louisiana hot sauce on it, enjoying it, and washing, like, it <laughs> washing it down with some with some uh, cognac or some yeah. shit. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. All the horrible some brown liquor. Uh, too. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, that's that's yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Shit! I thought this was my segment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Rapid Body rest. count shouldn't really matter. It shouldn't grow, be a grow. deal breaker, but deal breaker. if you're in your early 20s, I can see why that yeah. might fragile your little ego. Yeah. But when you mm-hmm. get older, you realize it. Mm-hmm. This, I mean, this is the age where... Everybody's this, fucking. Who I think cares? this is the age where <laughs> men in their young 20s have are still scared to eat pussy. So mm-hmm. w- once they hit in their mid-20s, they'll eat pussy. By the late 20s, they'll be eating ass. And and next thing you know, <laughs> 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 you be needy. And next thing you know, you ain't going to worry about body count when you start eating yeah. ass. So yeah. pretty much oh, just... just yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when you get older. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much... Uh, Grow the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grow the fuck up. And um just keep just keep clean. Keep yourself clean. Go get checked up. All that good stuff. Uh don't you dare. Don't you dare try to dick a bitch down or expect to get your dick sucked if your shit smell like fucking sweaty oh fucking gym socks. I like that Rob Stone reference. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. dare. <laughs> <laughs> and leave the chitlins alone. Leave the yes. chitlins Man, alone. Please. Leave the them love shits. of God. <laughs> Especially if a dude don't eat ass, but your your shit but. tastes like ass. Like it, it, deal, <laughs> deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Might as well eat ass. You might as well eat ass. <laughs> nom, 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 If you eat chillings the way you eat chillings, you might as well eat ass. <laughs> Go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Get the, the, thank you. Go get petite, the groceries. You might as well <laughs> eat the, get the groceries. <laughs> Motherfucker, hey, you might as well be a contestant on Fear Factor. Yeah. Damn. You know what I mean? Little be proud you know, of hey, you. Hit up Little Chris <laughs> and, uh, and, and Joe Rogan would be proud oh, too. Right. Oh, my Oh, God. man. He's in uh, ass. <laughs> he's in chitlins. Oh, he can eat anything. That is definitely the equivalent. Man, <laughs> you, hey, you won, this, you won this round. You, I promise you, now when you see people eat that shit, you're going to be like, like, hey, nigga, you can eat blue <laughs> testicles man. too. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's all that's going to be playing in your mind. Nigga, you eat you you an ass eater. <laughs> you an ass eater. <laughs> 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 you make Janae Alco very proud. <laughs> or, what's it, or how Nikki was like Kevin Gates. <laughs> Nikki was like, uh, point me to the best ass eater. Just look for somebody that you eat. Eat <laughs> Point me to yeah, the but, ass hey, eater. Hey, you hey, see him over there. Yeah, right? yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. If you're looking for an ass eater. Find out the nigga eats chitlins or not. It's on. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 say it's on. It's oh, on. I do it very much. You, you, you want your ass eat? Eight. <laughs> chitlin boy over there. Got you. <laughs> chitlin boy. Chitlin boy. Start calling niggas that shit. Like, hey, you a chitlin, chitlin boy. boy. Hey, you a chitlin <laughs> boy. <laughs> nigga. Hey, everything, don't you? Y'all crazy as hell. Man. <laughs> you eat everything on the menu. Nasty oh, motherfucker. Oh, man. You, you nasty mother. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna, uh, thanks for that NSA Ness. And then we're going to take a brief break with this mid roll and we'll get back to you hey y'all i'm just here to give y'all a brief reminder to follow us on twitter instagram like us on facebook at jig is up pod for twitter and instagram make sure you go ahead and leave us some letters at jig is up podcast at gmail.com also hit up the website the jig is up podcast.com Last but not least, leave us a voicemail on our Google Voice account. So call the number, area code 619-438-0176. It will be on the show notes so you guys can see it for yourselves. And then voice your opinion, and we'll play it on the following episode 
and you could give us any voice shout outs. You could say whatever the hell you want to say because nothing is safe. And just for that, man, keep sharing this podcast to everyone you know. All right, back to the show. All right, and we're back. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> okay, so for this, you know, in the jig is up, you know, for those who don't know, the jig is an acronym for just in general. So when just in general, sometimes we like to cover different topics mm. along with our segments. So this is, I want to call it the rapid fire um, topics, you know, within pop culture or whatever that's going on that I don't want to go too deep in, but yeah. we could just say on the surface, rapid fire, you know, <laughs> boom, just go right through them. So first, <laughs> I want to to get this started off, man. I want to kick it off with the shooting that took place. Uh, last night at the Rob Stone performance at the Music Box, vi- box venue. What? Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened, but there was a, a it was a shooting. Um, I don't know how it turned out. From the looks of it, it looked like Rob Stone had a good turnout. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, uh, double so. platinum and yeah. everything. Yeah. And he's on he's on the Stone Cold tour, so I guess he watched a Stone lot of Cold tour. I guess he's on his uh, WWF attitude shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? I see the merch, I, and w- it's great. WWE. It's great to see someone from here mm. doing things like that, going yeah. on nationwide tours. Regardless how you feel about Rob Stone, what he's doing, he is way ahead. Yeah, a lot that. of you niggas out here in San Diego. Hell to the yes. And you can say he suck all he want. You can say all that shit, but what are you doing? <laughs> Let nigga. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, punk ass out here. Yeah, Rob, shout out to that What are you doing? Man, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I mean, his music's hit or miss for me, yeah. but I respect mm-hmm. what he is yep. doing. Right. That's what I'm, it is. And that's what San Diego needs to stop doing is the hating. But with anything, you guys, let's, let's make this rapid fire. That, that's Thoughts? the one that was at um, at Little Music Italy? Bo- yeah, Little Italy. Yeah, It's I, a great venue, by the way. Hell yeah, yeah it is. Music box is ridiculous. I did not. I heard I, somebody was talking about a shooting, but I didn't know that that, that got shot up. Like I wasn't yeah, on I social didn't know media. They said it was yeah. outside. I don't yeah. know. If it's I, the venue, not in, inside, yeah. but yeah, outside. But that, yeah, somebody yeah. popped. Somebody yeah. popped off out outside. Basically, no, but they said it was a cop that that shot the fire. Wow. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. get okay. everybody attention. <laughs> Damn. Everybody yeah, move. Hey! <laughs> all I, all hey, it's time to go home. Car. All I got to say, 1207 has been linked to a lot of violence. Yo. When, when the dude got knocked out at the beach. Yep. When the, when, when Ski ex- Mask de- ex- got knocked out in L.A. God. What's the other dude's name? And when ex- 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 to to ex- 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 got, got knocked the fuck out. Oh, he He was yeah, they, yeah, I'm, hey, man. I triple mean, X went to Triple Z, Z. like that. Y'all are dumb. Like, yeah. that nigga snoozing. <laughs> to the, all this shit. Airfooting all on shoes. stage. Airfooting all. Aww. Damn, that sucks. Man. You know what was horrible about that? Uh, he was on the microphone. He, he was And he was lip sick. And his music was still going. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, nigga, we don't believe you, Milly Vanilli ass. <laughs> We need more people. Yeah. Nah, man. Shoot. Uh, yeah, they're drawing too much attention to themselves, man. I, yeah. I try to tell people, man. First off, you know, with the whole situation of dudes coming to people's city thinking that it's going to be ridiculous. You think it's you're going like, to walk out unscathed yeah, after on, disrespecting man. the artist of the home of the hometown dude? Right. You're you crazy. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. asking for you're trouble. You're asking for the situation. Of course. You know I mean? yeah. You're asking for trouble. That's suicide. You know I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You're asking for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, other other uh, next time. Topic: mm. Safari's nudes. <laughs> I didn't see him. <laughs> I wasn't I trying to see him. Pause worthy mm. moment. All I know uh, that his stock has risen, and that's all I'm going to say about that. That's crazy. His music it seems less corny to women now. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have an album coming out? Uh, I don't know, but he his his song about to hit the charts. Yeah. And when he was on, he made it. He made the most out of it on the Breakfast Club. Oh, he yeah. was throwing money. See? Charlemagne was catching all the money. <laughs> <laughs> Charlemagne was like, "Hey, Yo. Uncle Charlemagne, too proud to pick up all this money that's out here." Yeah. And I would have done the it same was, thing that's, too. Yeah, yeah. Charlemagne knows. It was almost. He was almost out of here. That and he made little, that that hey, uh, that new hey, situation. My question and, is, I wonder, does that is that count as payola? Shit. Mm-hmm. Low key, indirectly, Low if you yeah. think about it, yeah. nigga throwing money up in the air, yeah. you playing the songs, yeah. and you just like collecting them. That's Come speculation. On. It looks kind of yeah. It, it look kind of suspect. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Wonder if this is gonna reverberate <laughs> everywhere back uh, to different podcasts. Hey, I don't uh, know. Is <laughs> is is uh is uh, Charlemagne donkey of the don't be the donkey of the day of himself or what? What's happening? Yeah, he, like, he put himself donkey of the day a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. This might be another one. And he might memes. be that guy that be in the strip club that be like, oh, yeah. Like, so, yeah. so Nessa, did you see the safari alleged penis? I I, I, I heard good. about it first. 
I, uh-huh. didn't, I didn't care to see it. You guys know how I feel about that big, big dicks. Uh, it's nothing Bad to me because stroke. I don't fucking, <laughs> I ain't going to take it. But the same bitches, the same bitches that are, that were so excited and sliding in his DM after seeing it are the same bitches that's going to be crying and running from the dick. So shut the fuck up. Mm. Shut the fuck up. It's the same chicks that was talking shit about him. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah stop it. I, I mean, hate girl like, oh, my God, he's so big. He's going. Like, Jasmine Brown, watch Jazzy, the Instagram uh, comedian. Mm-hmm. She had a perfect uh, sketch about it. Basically, <laughs> it's like, yeah, women, like, how y'all talking about praising no dude who's that big when you can't even handle four inches? Exactly. You feel me? Damn. So, <laughs> so quick. Damn. Damn. Oh! That's like, why nigga, yeah. you gonna die. You gonna nigga, die. You try to get that. You gonna get your ovaries scrambled, yeah. rearranged. It's like it's like, like, like that. They, they're so excited about it, but they they can't take it. Like, well, I don't. Mm. When yeah. it comes to it, well, because I had homegirls. I had homegirls who tell me like when when girls were younger, because I grew up with you know sometimes I hear girl talk. Oh, he's this big. He's that mm-hmm. big. And then when it actually shit hits the fan, they're like. <laughs> I don't want that shit no more. <laughs> they they going to be like me in the fucking fetal position in the corner crying and shit. Nah, it ain't for me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but Ooh. my thing is because he was showing. Because, okay, when I saw I saw the two gym pics and then I seen the, 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 the dick swinging thingy. Hold the phone here. What, what, <laughs> he said, hold the phone. What do you mean you oh, in the well, fetal position? I told oh, him. <laughs> Okay. I can't just, I, no, you no, no. know, <laughs> jump over that like like that she ain't trying to over. He gonna be like me when I was up with it. If you can't, <laughs> whoa, whoa, rewind. All right, really quick to those that have the story backwards. Yeah. To yeah. those of you guys that have not heard, I know we hunted, hunted episodes deep. Keep I spoke about it at one time. There's a dude that I that I messed with for a period of ten years, um, on and off, and um, he was the biggest dick that I've ever experienced. And um, I could never get used to it because we didn't have sex as often. So every time we had sex, I questioned myself, what the fuck am I doing? I took it. But at the end of the day, I was sitting there fucking guts hurting. Like Mm, Guts hurting. It it was, was yeah. And this is why I always tell the boys, like, I don't do big dicks. Like, if you have a big dick, if a guy's like, oh, yeah, I got a big dick, I'll be like, bye. (laughs) I want no (laughs) part. Don't say that. Uh, Like. (laughs) Uh, I heard that, but so don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. But not to be confused, I don't do little dicks either. Mm, so right. I do average, you know, me in the middle. Yes, she the was middle. serious because her hands went up and down. <laughs> like, she I don't, don't want that. I, I, I don't. don't want and she said that, that, and she said that <laughs> vehemently. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you feel me? I don't do little I dicks. Don't do I say this because, like I said, I I was a guest. I was a guest on like a church, shout out to to hard episode. times radio. You know, I had we had little girl talk and everybody was talking about dicks and then the girls were like, "Yeah, fuck that shit. I do little dicks. I like yeah, little Sheena dicks." Yeah, she got little dick niggas and hella then, happy. They yeah. like, "What?" And then I but I told them I I I corrected them. I was like, "You mean you mean like average size, right? Because this to me is little. Yeah, that's weird. If you have the size of a fucking pinky, get the fuck from around me. What the fuck am I going to do with that?" Soft or hard? Either or. Oh, shit. shit, if you hard, you know what? Hey, I mean, some hard, people are growers, man. Yeah. Some people yeah. are growers, you know what I mean? If they hard you know, and you, you start the size off, as a pinky, you, get you the might, fuck from You might start me. off looking like Bruce Banner and end up becoming the Incredible Hulk I'm when you make it in. It I'm just, just saying. It just might be that way sometimes. You oh, know? no, yeah. When it's cold, mm. you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cold. As long as I know you can grow up to a good six and six and a half to nine max, then that's cool. <laughs> anything, <laughs> anything after that, I want no parts. Damn. She said six <laughs> Leave the mandingos to the... Yes, to the, to the, to the How many? <laughs> Leave the yes, mandingos to the strip... The, the, not the stripper. The porn stars. Yes, I am here. not a porn star. <laughs> Call me a freak all you want. I am not a porn star. <laughs> Let's make it clear. <laughs> Yo, Damn. all right. So going, much realis- realistic right. in the results. I don't, don't want to be a, a, a downer in this situation. I mean, the next uh, subject I have was... Uh, <laughs> It's realistic. Uh, Rick Ross. Uh, oh. He suffered a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, he's hospitalized. I don't know the current sta- status of him mm-hmm. right now. Uh, rumor, when it fir- initially happened, yeah. once it was announced, oh, it said that he was on life support. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, he's, not on, he's not on life his, support. His trail, his fat trail, trail, fat yeah. trail announced that he is not on life support. Right. But he is still hospitalized. And uh, first of all, on behalf of the podcast, Rick Ross, uh, I hope you get well. I hope you get through this. Your music is very uh, 
damn good. I, I enjoyed the last album. Hell yeah. Personally, I am a Teflon Don man myself. Classic. Yes. I am it for all you deeper than rap niggas. Come on, yes. man. It's cool, but yes. I'm a Teflon, I'm a Teflon Don. Don. Yeah, that you know That's real shit. <laughs> that was that one. Teflon Don. <laughs> man. You cannot compete with Teflon Don. Teflon Come Don on. and Deeper than Rat is the same as Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. Mm. Like, I like that. That's pretty Kmart much what it is. comes in on the clutcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that. they don't call him clutcher Hell nothing, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I like that. <laughs> Teflon um, Don but that one. 50. Took it to of the pettiness to another level oh, on his Instagram. But yeah. Ivan Drago with serious? the with the famous line when Ivan Drago killed uh Apollo Creed, you know that line, if he dies, he, he dies. dies. And oh. that stemmed from real beef between yeah, 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 Curtis yeah, yeah. and William. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying government names. Yeah. <laughs> yes. government. And damn. damn. Curtis don't give a fuck. He don't. He don't. That's crazy, God man. Damn, he he, he's so this nigga he about this nigga hold this beef for a while. Like he don't Not usually gracious. like he's like a beef. Okay, I'm done. Whatever. Like you like, know when um, he's with Kevin Lau oh. when Kevin Lau's is, um, um when he passed someone like passed away from violator or something like that. Him and Chris Lighty. Yeah, Chris yeah, Lighty. Chris Lighty. Chris Lighty. That's what. Yeah. Kevin Lau's. Um, they got together and stuff like that. And and he was Fat Joe. Yeah, with that was one that we didn't we never thought was gonna hell was gonna uh rock out, but. Yeah, he still we'll wants to see be. what happens with the Rick Ross thing. But for him to put that on his uh, Instagram, on his Instagram hella ruthless. Dude. Yeah, Woo! hella ruthless. Jeez. All right, all right. So, um, <clears throat> another topic, man. If you guys didn't see that video, Ric Flair drip. Yes, off, off the, off the. Um, what have I been missing? Off the without, <laughs> yeah. off the without warning album I, with, said, with uh, Offset, uh, what, what, Twenty One Savage, and Metro Boomin. Rick Flair song, drip. The song knocks. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. yeah. I've been playing that lately, fuck. cleaning my room. Yeah, so. I, I play that shit hitting the gym just yeah. because the yeah. video came out. I just, wow. I forgot how dope that song was. Mm -hmm. Um, man, I asked people this because I asked it on Facebook. I said, "Is Rick Flair an honorary uncle in law?" Of the culture, because you know how we have Uncle Charlemagne, yeah. Uncle Shannon. You know how it is. You know what I mean? Yo, I mean, like we we have uncles in the culture. So yeah. I'm wondering, it because Uncle in law because he has to you know be with a black right, woman right, right, to be right, a right, part right, of the culture. Right, right, right. So or is he just another culture vulture? I remember my trainer. Uh, he said fuck no because he you know it was reportedly that he called people the n word. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In his past, I think he called Teddy Long, right? Teddy the, Long, yeah. Teddy Long, former referee, mm. uh, the the N word. But you know, it's the past. Yeah, he could be a change man. He could not. But do you think that Rick Ross should be accepted as Rick, Rick Flair? Flair? Rick Flair, Rick not Flair. Rick Ross. Uh, yeah. Rick Flair. Sorry, Rick <laughs> Wrong Ricks. Rick <laughs> Flair should be. I know. Woo and uh. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, we do it so, a lot. So, 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 so it's, it's Rick Flair. Do you? Have him honorary member, Uncle, Uncle in law. Flair. Yeah. Uncle Flair? Uncle Flair. I, I agree. I'm just I'm kinda worried. You're though. iffy. I'm kinda okay. iffy. I'm kinda if I'm kinda iffy. I'm a I'm a big wrestling fan myself and it's it's cool because I mean, um a lot of rappers give respect to Ric Flair and stuff like that. How flashy he is. It's like it's the lifestyle of a rapper and stuff yeah, like that. True. Yeah. And we and respect that though. It's just because I just hopefully you don't bust a Hulk Hogan. Or oh, shit like that. Uh, so that's gotcha, what I'm nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm like, funny. hopefully, I mean, gotta, I mean, so, but so far, I mean, rags and shit. yeah, but oh, I mean, so far, he, people and but he so, so far, so good. Day. I mean, <laughs> he's cool with Rick Ross and stuff like, and he's he's very cool with Rick Ross and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, uh, Killer Mike. They talk all the time and yeah. stuff like that too. So I, I, think, I think we're okay. A lot and of rap. A lot of rap. Woo, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course, you know. Man, of course, we'll offset. Uncle Flair. I, Uncle yeah. Flair. <laughs> all right. Yeah. What about what about? I'm just got iffy, man, because you know, I you know, when know. shit come back to haunt you and shit like <laughs> that. They getting like, older like, and they fucking. You don't find shit when they get older, you know what I'm saying? I bet you ain't gonna stop going. Woo. You ain't oh, gonna oh. stop. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, hey, look. Okay. All, right. all right, you got a point. You got it. a point. You're yeah. gonna do the walk. <laughs> right. You're gonna be like, I am, I got a Rolex watch, a limousine stretched a mile long with woo, with 20,000 oh. women waiting to be next to them. Yo, <laughs> Rick Flair is that guy. He is. Uncle, I got eleven thousand dollars shoes Uncle with Ferragamo jeans. Woo! <laughs> he's he's out here. Hey yo, he's he got the purple. Hey yo, he has them purple shoes, man. It's pretty dope, man. <laughs> Uncle Flair. Uncle I, Flair. I, I, but why Uncle did Flair. you have to choose purple though, huh? 
I'm just fucking with you. He's so stupid. And other news today. (laughs) Okay, okay. (laughs) Moving on. All right. right. On some West Coast shit. Mm. Is Nipsey Hussle's Victory Lap a classic album? (laughs) (laughs) You know what? (laughs) <laughs> you being you Yo, being a, a sound engineer of music, I love this album. You Me love too. I love Victory it. Lap. I've I've gone back to it a couple times. Dude, I played there's that like album maybe like yeah I, ten yeah. times. Yeah, there's probably like maybe two songs that I'm kind of like eh, two or three. But mm-hmm. this is uh, this is a body of work that's that takes me to well, it's got no name. Mm. Well, it's got no name. I'm in the name volume two. Volume right? two. two. Yes. Volume yeah. yeah. two, sir. Well, Dude. hustle in the yeah. house. You feel <laughs> me? Yeah. Um, sonically and everything about this album. Like, he's like, he's like how Rick Ross is. Like, Rick Ross knows how to pick Beats. production yes. to the 10th power. That's what I love. And so Nip, Nip picked those tracks that fit his stop and go. Uh, stop What's and your go favorite rap. instrumental? F- from him? Yeah. On, on that On, on that, that album? album uh, Hustle and motivate. Yes. Woo! The hard, the hard yeah. night life. Like, yeah. To be flipped. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hustle and motivate. That's my joint right there, bro. Honestly, I will go with the first track. The Yo. way it started oh, yeah. off, with, with yeah. hard as Listen. fuck, bro. Yeah. Yeah. He can't. The way I'm he's... proud of Nipsey on this because at first I was ready to get his ass out of here for a minute because <laughs> those it's been a long those, time. Yeah, with it's a marathon. It took forever to put this album out. The other yeah. but two Nip, projects, but projects that he put out. Other shit. Yeah, yeah on, I know that. He's yeah. on some entrepreneurial. Yeah, which is which is great. But when it came to like yeah. his music and stuff, it's like I I know you to be a dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh for, yeah. For some dope music and the last two projects was just kind of like okay, and, and just and just let me and let me just uh say this for aspiring rappers out there. Mm-hmm. Nipsey, to me, when he put that album out, it showed that he's on another level. Yeah, right. Because rapping is not his, his priority. Right. Yeah, it's right. like maybe he fifth or it. sixth option, yep. and he made better albums than most of y'all niggas who say rap is your mm-hmm. first priority. You right. Something Yikes. that you have to reevaluate. <laughs> you right. Look at the mirror and say, God damn, <laughs> you this right. nigga, this yeah. album is his. Fifth, sixth, seventh option. With your chest, bruh. Say it, man. man. Yeah. If this is his and, fifth or sixth, whatever and, option. Whatever. The, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's and it's and it took him a while too. So it's like he's ain't putting just bullshit out and yeah. everything like yeah. that. I mean, it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a very long, long time. time. That's why I was like, man, I'm ready to get you. So that's good. Yeah, because it's like, you know, time is ticking. You know, you know, I was ready to pack get a rap, package <laughs> <for> rap years. <laughs> I was ready to package him yeah. with scheme and Dom Kennedy, man. <laughs> Even Dom <laughs> Kennedy <laughs> rapped a little bit. Yo. So I don't know what the fuck is going on with Tom K <laughs> with this non writing the beat ass flows. No. Like <laughs> it's pissing me off. I, I got a question though. How was the the him the last project he had, Dom and um Hit Boy? Oh, half a mil? Yeah. Uh, Trin Nash. Uh, uh, Alrighty then. <laughs> I haven't listened to it. it. When Hit Boy can kill you on the mic. Oh my gosh. Drop phone. Get your ass out of here, <laughs> Dom Kennedy. Hey, so Dom man. Kennedy the fuck out of here? Yeah, man. Unless he Look, man, I, so I saw I'm, promises on uh, the uh, the Rosecrans joint with okay. um, right. with the uh, problem in uh-huh. DJ, DJ Quick. Yep. Yeah, I seen you know he gave us some little promise on uh, on uh, half a mil mixtape. Yeah, a little, couple, a little bit. A little it bit. Bit. was some that yeah. was still like, Don, what the hell you doing? And then <laughs> this Nipsey joint, I was like, okay, you're you're kind of giving us you again, and. Then you go back to the stuff that he's doing on his own. And it's like, nigga, sit your ass down. For and me, go back I think I think I think Dom needs to write. I think he's trying to be Jay Z. I think he's trying to go straight to the booth and rap. Dom, no, you nigga, else, you're bro. better when you <laughs> write before you rap. Yeah. And I don't. Yeah. I know we have listeners in L. A. And if you're a fan of Dom K, play this clip. To him. We're hella fans I, of him, too. We're hella we are, fans. Man. We love that fool. We're Yo. not stands. We're fans. And I'm going to say it objectively as a fan. You Yo. perform better when you write. Mm-hmm. Period. Period. Oh, by the way. Because I, uh, I want to I wanna get you out of 2007. We put your ass in 2000. We left you in 2007, bro. <laughs> we was not bringing you in that bullshit in 2018. Speaking of which, West I want to bring love you back. is like, what, 10 years old now? Yeah. 
It's crazy, huh? Damn. <laughs> time flies. That, that was, yo, that I mean that albums, whole time bro. with the mixtapes and everything, like that was a, that was a great year. Like oh, sometimes I I, I yeah. go between Future Street mm. and West from the West Side. Yeah, I love yeah. Future Street. Though, yeah. though, I go back and forth between Famous those two. Then sometimes I sprinkle the Yellow album. Yeah, in I there. thought I thought yeah. I thought yeah, Yellow, yellow album. album. Like I'll jam that a little bit. You know what I mean? No original dog. Uh, original Dom was actually original pretty Dom cool. Came, yeah, yeah. Okay. They had, had that. It, uh, Get uh, home safely was CD, pretty. I love CD, that. Him CD. and uh, yeah. him, uh, Honey Buns with a Crown Down. Yeah, you know Crown Down. Now and, he's uh, been yeah, yeah. Crown Down Ty Dollar Song. Uh, Ty Dollar Song. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Crown Down yeah. being the villain out here and Yo. Black Lightning and shit. I yeah. saw Albino, Albino yes. Harpoons and shit. Hey, but, Crown uh, Down moving right now. But yes, the next the next next subject I want to cover is it time for the NCAA to start paying their athletes? Ooh. Because yeah. now with sanctions being hit into a lot of major known basketball, and a couple of days ago, one of my favorite college players of all time and Southeast, you know, legend, Reggie Bush, mm. this bullshit is the reason why he doesn't have his Heisman. Right. Give that man his Heisman he back. Was, he he deserved it. Yeah. He, on, he busted that. his ass off. And I think the NCAA got to look at themselves in the mirror what kind of bullshit they're doing to the right. students. And for me, they better watch out. I may not be a fan of LeVar Ball to a degree. Mm. I kind of like what he wants to do and what he's striving to do. Mm. He wants to start a basketball league where top recruits can just get paid for what they're doing. Kind of like what they're doing in Europe. Mm. How they can go out there and ball and make a okay salary you know yeah. make 30 grand for for the lower tier players 50 grand for the higher tier players you know something that could still have a job and feed their families and while they could develop uh you know nba style uh, a play so mm. they could go into the next level and well, get that big contract but with that what does that say about education though uh well, like, education, you know what I'm saying? Well, with them going the, to college or yeah i mean know. to get an education i mean if you get for me, if I was like that, I know I'm running the chance of getting injured anytime I step yeah. on the basketball court. Yep. But let's say if I, <clears throat> step, barring injury, if I were to go there and I made it through mm-hmm. and I get my, you know, my money, I'm, you know, I'll take summer courses. I will go oh, okay. back to school because I don't need a scholarship That's what I'm anymore. Is like I would need LeVar a scholarship Ball anymore. Ball have... undercutting their their chances of getting an education though. Like, but he's with... just giving them the option. Okay, he's giving right. the option. They, y'all could go to college, but yeah. if you have your family, you starving, you poor, you know, if you need like you. You know, because Booster's always going to put money under the table yeah. for Yeah, of course. It's just a matter it, of time you're going to get caught in that. Whatever you do in the dark, it comes yeah, out to light. Caught. You know it doesn't I mean? matter. I mean, so. Yeah. Why even do that? And you're making millions and millions of dollars yeah. off their likeness from the video games, the jersey sales. That killed me. And, man. And, that and, pissed and me off. All man. of that shit. You know, coaches are getting paid millions, millions. of dollars for this millions shit. Millions of dollars. So shout out to Coach K. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up, brother? But yeah. Uh, what yeah. I heard from another podcast, I think it was uh, Flagrant Two. Uh, shout out to Kaz and uh, Andrew Schultz. I think they. Uh, Christian McCaffrey's father is starting a developmental football league mm. where they could get paid, but also learn a trade. Nice. Okay. So when they and, – and especially being out there in Silicon Valley because that's where uh, they're starting to uh, make it happen, they can – you know, if they don't get drafted, they already have a skill. They already have a trade that yeah. they could get hired like that. Mm-hmm. I like that point. I like that And too. it's only yeah. like six teams – you still gonna get looked by NFL scouts because niggas mm-hmm. get hurt every day, B, in the that's NFL. True. That's true. Won't <laughs> so come out, won't go in. Exactly. Next man up. That's how it is yeah, in the NFL. Is. So hey, I think that's a brilliant move. So yes, I for me, I think it's time for the NCAA to start paying their athletes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially if they're bringing most of the revenue yeah. in here. And People are like, like, what about the swimmers, <clears throat> the Batman players, and all that shit? And, and <laughs> fuck them. Nobody cares. <laughs> <about them>. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Batman. Pipe <laughs> down, bro. No one cares Now hold about on Batman. there. Son. No. Now hold on there. <laughs> yeah. And please do. And if you guys do, please bring the video games back. I miss them so much. Oh, those games are hard. Dude. Okay. Yeah. Those games hard. Next subject. Yeah. Who's seen Hurt Bay 2? Remember Hurt I Bay? Did, yeah. Oh, no, I did, yeah. The sequel came back. What? A year later, A right? year later, Courtney and Leonard came back to talk over their hurt feelings again. And <laughs> Leonard is a fucking goon. You know what? Because that nigga said, he looked at him with a dead face. He said, I hope I never see you again. Yeah. 
And he was, and he told her to come get this truth because he'll say we did this because we were both trying to get, get on. on. <laughs> so I heard about he, it. He like yeah. the jig was up, bitch. Don't stand here oh, trying to play, yeah. play victim and shit. <laughs> I said I was, I was never said, really he, with he, you. He said, "Listen here, <laughs> I wasn't really with you." Right. And she out the felt, bag. The, she felt the way about it. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. And it was so funny because she was like, "Well, I have a new man. I feel all this." And I'm he's happy. like, well, "I'm happy. I'm happy, babe." We could have did. We could have did two things. You know what I'm saying? Not did this or do the it. The reason and why you came back. The reason why you came back. You still feel the way. Right. She, he is still in her head. Yep. If he wanted to call her and he could hit, he, he could probably could. Yeah. And if I was that boyfriend. I was still, I would be a little worried about Listen, that. No, real talk. I would be worried about that, man. And at, at the end, how they, she said, I'm done with you. I'll clean my hands. He looked at her too, like, okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> clean and, 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 he, he and he told her okay. twice, I hope I never get to see you again. And wow. he and he said, right, didn't he say, he was like, yeah, the, fir- the first time we recorded, I already had a girl. Like, didn't yeah. he say that? He yeah. Had yeah. And he's like, I, I you don't like, need to know so everything. He's like, he's so ruthless. He's out here. <laughs> but I just like the fact when he said, come back here and come get this truth. No. <laughs> and she was like, oh, all right. <laughs> she yeah, came back and she got that truth. Hey, that, 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 uh, that unadulterated honesty. How about that? So, so honestly, do you <laughs> guys think that it was staged then? You know, or it possibly. was. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. Because who would, who would <laughs> right. want to talk to their ex face to face like that? Yeah. Let's get, let's put cameras and record. Yeah. Man, and, they, uh, they got to have a show by VH1 in like next, they, next I mean, year. Where so. they, are they cool outside of that? Like, do they I hang know. out? Or, I have yeah. no idea. They're going to have their own show. Just stay tuned. I have no idea. Right. All I know that she has, will pick him up. But all I know because I seen her next her her new boyfriend. All I know that she does have an affinity for light skinned niggas. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, okay. To each his own. Her well, bae, uh, uh, I'm 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 taking. Part three so I, I can't be available. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's get that clear. Huh? Yeah, Ladies let's get that clear. Gentlemen. Okay, next subject. Uh, Amanda Stein uh, Steinberg or St- Stenberg. Sorry, sorry, if I pom- pronounced your uh, mispronounced your name, Miss Love. Mm-hmm. Um. She bowed out of the Black Panther because she wanted more representation for dark skinned women. Obviously, she is a light skinned woman. Biracial. Woman. Biracial. Yes. Uh, if you just. Okay. <laughs> she's from Hunger Games. Yeah, she's from the Hunger Games. She plays as Rue. Okay, baby, yeah. And mm-hmm. mind you, her mom is a dark skinned black woman. <laughs> Fun feel fact. So. Um, what do you guys think about that? For her, wait, being, wait, wait. What was her? What was her? What? She is a light skinned black woman. Basically, right? she has. She's biracial. Mm-hmm. They gave her the audition if she wants to be a part of Black Panther. And she one of felt Wakanda's. that since her skin tone doesn't fully represents the mm-hmm. what, what Wakanda the yeah. should be looking like. Right. So how do you guys? Feel oh, she about backed that? out. Yeah, yeah she, she backed, backed she out. Ba- she gracefully bowed out. So oh, okay. how would you say? Like, what would you look at as like? Oh, she just being light skinned, or you think she no. was looking at? Looking out for her fellow dark skinned sisters. No, I think she was kind of honest. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. she was honest. Uh, I mean, it'd be kind of weird. <laughs> I don't look like the African that you're <laughs> right. looking, like you're looking for. Like, like I mean, well, you look at the same Wakanda. time. G- you know, get your money if you yeah. would have got the part. Yeah, you know, because yeah. it's yeah. not like she was look- like they offered it to her, right? Yeah. Right. So, it's true. so I mean, yeah, I, they, I, I have a must respect to but there were like, well there was a light skin girl in there, right? There was, yeah, there was one. There was one, <laughs> one light skin girl in the door, Melaje. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, but no, I get respect to it because it's like it'd be kind of it'd be kind of weird for her to like just say like, "Hey, I'm biracial," and like it wouldn't with, make with, sense with, with, with a Nigerian accent. It like it's kind of it weird. It, you know, like, like, what kind of forever? Like, like, let's no. say if she was, if she were to play as Shuri, let's say she was to play as Shuri, she had the the role for Shuri. That shit, yeah, that shit would be like. It wouldn't make any sense. It would be like the po- Cosby's. You know what I'm saying? True. You, you got you got uh you got Bill Huxtable and you got Claire Huxtable, but you got all these different oh, shades of different <laughs> black people. You got Lisa Bonet. Lisa Bonet. And then She's you so got fine. I love her. And you got, God bless her. Then you, you got these me. other like the, the whole range, and it doesn't make yeah. any sense like biologically. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so if she were to play as Princess Shuri, being the sister of T'Challa, that meant someone committed. Adultery mm-hmm. in Wakanda. Hey, it would have been, yeah. That would have came out that way. You know, yeah, they would have like, been another story. Like, like, wait a minute. He's like, yeah. look at your, look at your half breed colonizing <laughs> half sister. Funny. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, hell, no, I don't think it's an issue. I don't think it should be any type of issue, man. If she, yeah. if that's that's honesty, man. It's like, yeah, well, that's really honesty. And I don't know. Like, if we're gonna stick true to it, then let's stick true to it. I mean, you offered it to me, cool, but. 
I, I don't feel like I should have got so, the, the pick. So let me ask you guys this. So if, let's say she did take that role, do you think that she would have got would have gotten attacked by that by not hell being, yeah do you think and do you think that I, even I, though I, I she people would have had honest, every any and she every was doing that to prevent that yeah. it would have been mean, another I color mean, it would have been yeah, another I mean, shit, it would have been a colorism oh, oh, civil war oh, oh yeah already. wait a minute Most, how yeah. come she looks like Most, that have you ever been there this part of Africa <laughs> Nigga, I, I, I'm just up, saying it, it's, a, it's a part, nigga. <laughs> hey, hey, no, I, I'm just saying though. If, I mean, if you, if Killmonger having fucking trouble coming over there and say, "Hey, are you a Condon? <laughs> you don't have a chance." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you know, I, I think, yeah, it, it, somebody would have had a problem with it. Someone yeah. would have oh, yeah. had they yeah. had a problem with Killmonger. So fuck. Problem. Yeah, yeah I said, you, you think, know what I mean? Like, but whatever, man. Get, hey, if she would have played the part, we wouldn't have us as. Fans of the mm. movie, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Us as fans of the character in the movie, like we wouldn't have thought of that. Like yeah. we would have just been like, True. she's playing a part. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If she would have played it, it and killed it, yes, thank you. Yeah. It would, it she would have played it, it and suck. Get your ass. Why did they pick you? Yeah. Like you suck. Mm -hmm. But yeah. she because we, it, we we will bypass it and everything like we that. Definitely like, we definitely will because we, we don't talk about the movie and everything. But I actually I respect her for doing that because she said, hey, there's a lot of like you know dark skinned actors. It's yeah. hard to get roles and stuff like that. Exactly. So I yeah. is that what she? That's, that's, okay. Yeah, that's what she was. Okay, it's hard for yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why she did it. She's like, no, I'm like I can get the role. Much respect to her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Okay. All right. Um. Back to a little bit of music. Beyonce's top off verse. <laughs> Who heard it? I haven't. I have. I haven't heard anything. What, what, so what do you think, Kay? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she, she, she killed it. She you actually killed it. Did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I was listening. I was like, I'm like okay, all right. She wrote it. Or did Jay? <laughs> that's he saw his face. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, for, that's for another conversation. All right, next topic. Wait, I didn't say nothing. Oh, what yeah. you think, Hello? girl? Yeah, speak up then. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I personally didn't care for it. Okay. Um, and I and I say this Be because coming at you. I, I, I'm ready. Oh. At hey. Hey. Yo, yo, we can't, have the, hey. we can't have the beehive coming over to dick us up. Man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? shit, ratings. Her, ratings is her, ratings. Her, her, uh, yeah. her thoughts and views does not reflect the <laughs> yeah. of this podcast. Oh, yeah, no. I, I Please. Got, <laughs> I got you got bees. This is your time. Right. <laughs> <Right. laughs> no, but honestly, you know, I, I've never, I've never really been like a, straight Beyonce fan. I've said this time and time again. Right. Um, but I had to listen to it because when you guys first talked about it, I was like, what the fuck is this? And then I actually heard it. I had to listen to it again mm. and then again. So I heard it three times since you guys mentioned it until today, sitting down in this chair. Um, I I tried to get it, but I, I don't know. I guess I, I just, I can't get jiggy with it. And, I you know, Kenlin and I, I was it. talking about Rihanna she killed Lemon. <laughs> I don't like I, I, I prefer her verse over I, I Beyonce, but I'm not saying it sucked. It was horrible. But I have to, I have to listen to it again for me I, to get. I, I just, I, I, mm. well, I mean, I like, I like her bars that she put on there. She's like, I'm the only lady here, still the realest nigga in the room. Ooh. <laughs> and she was what? like, Yeah, oh yeah, she was like, um, I gotta I, hear this. Yeah, she said, um, she said she fuck it up. Then leave, then leave, come back, fuck it up, and leave again. Basically saying that <laughs> she she had an album, she came back, still made, she still made a uh, number one. Been at with Lemonade again, gone again, mm -hmm. gave Lemonade, still made money off of this. She said, I can, I can go back for a long time, and I still, this is nothing to me. Mm -hmm. is, and then also too, she's, she's a basis, winner out she, here. She's just stunned. Yeah, she's stunned. She's for stunned. Mm -hmm. And the shit was like, it's the the last part, which I was like, oh shit, was that she said. If they trying to party with the queen, they gonna have to sign a non disclosure. A, Ooh. you know what a lot of like, <laughs> dude. She's like basically saying like, if you gonna party with me, everybody in this fucking room have to sign a non disclosure agreement. If anything happens, they can't say shit. Mm. You gotta be exclusive to do that shit. That's like mm. that's like president shit. That's like I don't know. I think I'd still go to a Rihanna party over. I, <laughs> I, I, I know. I like I like I, I like her bars. Rihanna, like, Come here, girl. <laughs> Come here, girl. Yeah. So, uh, so are, I, I are, like, are, I are like you, her bars. I like her bars. I'm like, like she's stunning or something like yeah. that. Because even like Jay's like, you know, hey, get these fuck boys. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> like he just passed the mic. Yeah, but but on the Rihanna tip, are you feeling thick Rihanna or are you like thin? Hell, Rihanna? 
Yes, I'm feeling <laughs> Me too. I love Coop. it. I love it too as I well. I love it, man. I mean, <laughs> I just had to say it for the fellas. The fellas out here. About, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I love, love some things. Hey. When I seen I was like, what, Rihanna? <laughs> like, it's All Rihanna, right. nigga. <laughs> we going to get a thing on this thing. Go ahead and do this, man. <laughs> hey, man. It's Rihanna, on, nigga. Uh, put a little meat on your bones. <laughs> God bless you. Make it stick yeah. to your ribs. You girl. feel me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, next topic. I know it's on some video game shit. Hey, a lot of a lot of dudes have been waiting for this. Hell yeah, I've been waiting for Call years. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. Yes, is being remastered and it's going to be available for PS4 and oh. Xbox One. Ladies, f- say goodbye to your niggas. <laughs> <laughs> niggas gonna come out noob tubing. Oh yes. ACR scars are coming back. Danger clothes. Oh yeah. All you fucking the shotguns. You, you <laughs> cold <laughs> blooded. <laughs> you cold blooded perk motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, yeah. I'm sniping. Throwing grenades, you, claymore, you camping quick scopers, ass and all them shit. Man, dude. Quick scopers. Yo, one man that, army niggas. That was the first Call of Duty game. Like I fell in love. Like. That I spent countless hours. I missed so many fucking classes because of that game. <laughs> That's real shit. I was like, oh, I got to take the bus. Oh, I guess I'm hey, missed class today. Shout like. out to the ladies that actually pick up the sticks too, though. Oh, oh yeah. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, most yeah. definitely. Like Sterling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 No, but that, that was like a first level. Like, man, I like, play mad. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to worry about <laughs> like <laughs> Save your man, but yeah. <laughs> and then come by this way. <laughs> Girl, I play mad. I ain't going to be on the call at this. <laughs> I'm just saying, I can lose him man and gain him man. <laughs> you feel me? He's like, no, sure. hey, I'm gonna be playing Call of Duty. You feel me? God damn it! I'm playing off of the mad at the at the Call of Duty. You play Call of Duty. Oh shoot! Play Call of Duty. Yeah. Oh man, that's crazy. Man. Oh man, yeah, dude. I can't wait for that. That's been waiting for a long time for because uh, they did the remaster for Call of Duty Four, so. That was kind of like expected. Like, dude, we gotta cross our fingers for that one. So, mm. all I'm thinking for me, I'm waiting for the Resident Evil Two remaster. They're working on it right oh, now. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's gonna be great. They did it with one and um, the Origins one. They did the remaster on it, but two, uh-huh. two was my shit. Like that's two? a classic. Yes. All right. So I can't wait. Last hot topic. Monique versus Charlemagne. Yeah. Who <laughs> watched that interview? I gotta watch it. I'm gonna watch it tonight. Yeah, and then... I gotta watch it too. But uh, did what do you gotta say, my love? Daddy. <laughs> now nah, she was calling the nigga daddy. daddy. She calling the nigga daddy on like, the interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think no, that's what he's getting pimp. No, that's what I think when he's getting pimp. Oh, yeah, that's what I think too. Listen here, uh, that's some pimp shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You calling she calling Charlamagne Lenard? Like I was like, oh, brother yeah, Lenard, brother that's Lenard, crazy. <laughs> Yeah. Brother Lenard. Yeah. She had the glasses too, like the like the. <laughs> she looked like an old librarian, but who would turn up on you? Not call him Charlotte. She like Charlotte Brother Lenard. Lenard. I'm Lenard. like, Homie. not Leonard. <laughs> Leonard. Yeah. Leonard. Leonard. That is so crazy. Yeah. I gotta see. She, Listen she here, really got to fit in about that. The no, she was calling them by the she, girl. She said Eddie, Angela, uh, Leonard. What? Yes. yes. She Not DJ Envy, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> I didn't even know his name was. <laughs> and you can see Envy getting mad nervous. You tapping the the table like, all right, thank you, Monique. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she need to take that five hundred k and and, and make now that she special. owes back taxes. You. <laughs> Is she, she losing? Is <laughs> she losing? Like, congratulations! You I'm, hear me? Like, I, man, I, I think it was what she should have done, man. It's just like just build and build yourself up. There it like, is. Man, I would you build exactly. yourself up. I'll take that five thousand. Oh damn, that was a really good one. And then you get more offers on the table. Build, right? yeah. build yeah. leverage. Build, build your brand. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Okay. We we understand. Yes, you went with the Parkers. You had a couple of of uh, shows nice back then run. too. You had some movies and stuff. Queens too. of comedy. Queens of comedy. You know what I'm saying? Like you had a good. You, you got great run, but still like. Build your brand up. I mean, Kevin Hart. You seen Kevin, what Kevin Hart did? It's like this. He came from fucking YouTube. Um, what you call it? YouTube. He and fell it, off. He went on YouTube and yeah. built this shit right back up. Yeah. Hell, Easy. Soul Plane. I'm just saying. Just saying. Uh, if Soul all Plane. of us is Soul sitting, if all of us is sitting around chilling and we seen in the newspaper that or what? See, we probably wouldn't even read the newspaper, but we seen that Monique is gonna be at the Comedy Store or something like that or the Laugh Factory or whatever. Mm-hmm. How many of us is really gonna be like, hey? You gonna check out that Monique, that Monique show? <laughs> no, like no, you know, that's that's not like a you know, 
priority. She doesn't give us that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, that, that unction to go see her. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, because they were saying, Sorry. like, you know, so you, you said to her, compared to, like, Chappelle, you know? Amy Schumer, and all that, Chris yeah. Rock, it's like... She, she said, why can I get what the legends are getting? And she's going about resume, but the thing is, she forget that it goes to analytics. Right. Are you hot now? Right. Yeah. What have you done lately? Right. And that's the thing that Charlemagne was trying to tell her, but right. she keep reverting back, playing the victim of gender bias and racial bias. Yes, there are gender and racial bias that are happening happening that to people true. in the uh, in the industry but i think that she's using that as a crutch Wait. to have people on her side on her side yeah. you yeah. ain't getting and, me and playing off me. it's like and playing I'm off of the emotions of people you. you know what i mean I'm yeah. playing yeah. off the emotions of women who are going through that same struggle right. but to a worse degree you know yeah. what i mean and, and and chance i'm sorry chance Get the fuck out of here, Chance man! To, you Chance try to you try to slapper. cape for black women, right? And, and, and brother, I don't mind it. You're like, if there's real discrimination, I don't think that I didn't see any discrimination right there's here. There's not. You have to be so good that to they can't ignore you. Right. And Monique has not shown or displayed right. that at all, at, in a consistent basis at as all. of late. Right. Yes, she has a she has an Oscar. Yes, she been a queen of comedy. Yes, she is a pioneer for women comedians. Yeah, but shout out to the Parkers. It has. But it has. It's about what have you done she for me lately? That, she ain't got that if factor. And like, people yeah. ain't checking for Dave you. Chappelle. Yeah. Exactly. Dave Chappelle went away for how long? But but he has that it factor, yeah. and he proved yeah. it when he came out with that special. When he said, "Look, I'm dope. I I, <laughs> I just come up with stuff. Like you know, what I saying? should quit I, comedy. I, 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 quit comedy. I got this locked. Chris yeah. Rock, you you know you're tambourine, gonna. You know, yeah. I mean, Chris Rock that was electric. That tambourine, motherfucker, tambourine was hilarious. Yo, even this, even in the midst yes. of the madness with Cat Williams, yes. Cat Williams, of all people, yes. fight niggas in in, in in concerts, getting beat up and all kids. that shit. He Came is back. still out there doing his shit, exactly. and he got his back from Netflix. Yep. Exactly. Motherfucking D. Ray Davis yep. got his back from Netflix, and <laughs> you can't say racial discrimination because. Gary Owen even said his damn self that he tried to get a Netflix deal and he couldn't he get couldn't it get in. It. Yeah. Yeah. So Andrew Schultz tried to get a Netflix deal. He couldn't get it. Right. So, but yeah, man, uh, we got a L- ladies and late gentlemen, arrival. Man. Have a grand entrance. <laughs> Are you Supporting take time, boyfriend of the year. <laughs> Come over here. Come get this truth. <laughs> come get this truth. <laughs> All right. I need to go engineer down on my guys here. You feel hey. me? Hey, M. Easy in the place to be there. Come yeah. all the way from Vegas being boyfriend of the year. <laughs> so did you take a private jet over here <laughs> to make it? <laughs> yes. Guess who's yeah. back. <laughs> Guess who's back. Back again. Dang. What's up? What's up? Back. What's up? <laughs> so M. Easy. To revert back when we started off, All because right. we want to give you a fair shot. <laughs> uh, after 100 episodes, what does it mean to be here at episode 100? Makes you feel accomplished. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we stuck out 100 episodes. It's not like we had a machine backing us or some type of motivation, but our own. You know, that's, that's what stands out for me. And nobody backed out and quit on us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. No one backed out and quit on us. Man, uh, if you want to catch the tail end, have you watched the uh, Monique versus Charlemagne interview? Uh, Nah. Nah? Okay. Well, all right. So that will probably be the end of our rapid-fire discussions mm-hmm. of uh, topics and stuff like that. We're going to kick into the Kmart's awkward question oh, to the God. corner. Here we go. Let's get it in. Oh, boy. The people have waited too damn long. They yeah. waited for two episodes oh too damn long <laughs> yeah. to get it in. They was talking about it last Man, night. Man, they talked about they it last night like, at game. Um, and while he's getting his questions, game night was a hit. I want to thank everyone that came to game night. It was, so it was fun. a lot of fun. People probably want to do it again. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is my first time even having that many guests at my house. Uh, shout out to my roommate for being cool about mm-hmm. it. Shout out to my roommate's dog being friendly <laughs> to everybody. That bear? Yeah, that bear. That, bear that my bodyguard. You know what I mean? He scared motherfuckers away. That horse? <laughs> that horse. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> I'm just going to do this just a little warmer. So, the third one's be the last one. I'm going to say it for last. Okay. Okay. So, this is just a... This is a a little mild one for you. It's okay. 
So, oh, man. Um, this, it's just a regular question. So would you rather, it's not an awkward question, but it's just a what if situation. Uh, so would you rather have a rewind button or a pause button in your life? Hmm. A rewind or a pause? Mm-hmm. I'd rather a rewind button. <laughs> Why is that? Because with a pause button, you don't know what's going to happen next still. I'd rather find out first and be like, you know what, let me rewind that. True. And replay it. I would I would say that, but I remember that game in Madden when you have to rewind when you throw an interception. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you still throw an interception after having that rewind when you can take it back. So I'm gonna go and say I'm gonna pause, gather myself, whatever bullshit that comes along, mentally prepare my shit uh for the fuckery that's about to happen and just deal with it. Like kinda like Zach Morris. Mm. When some bullshit about to happen, <laughs> time out. Right. Oh man. He breaks the fourth wall, talk to everybody in the audience. Play it, Mr. And, 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 and the cars fall where they may. But uh, I'll be right back. All right. I'm gonna let y'all handle it. I gotta use the, I gotta use the bathroom. I was gonna say, man, when you rewind it on Madden, you should just put the ball on the on the on the floor, man. Well, we can't pause it on right now, so <laughs> right, yeah, right. and we can't rewind it. Yeah, we can't so. rewind it and shit. Thanks a lot, Marco. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, that's that's a toughie. Yeah, what do you think, that? So I tell you what, another reason why I rewind it though. Why is that? So I can get the whole, you know, join this whole episode. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, More fortunate yeah, it's in. tough because right. the reason why I say this is because mm-hmm. I feel like if I were to press rewind, I would contradict myself. And I say that because I always say, I'm, you know, I don't live with regrets. I don't, you know, I, I just, it is what it is. But at the same time, I find myself saying, damn, if only I thought like this when I was in my 20s, mm-hmm. you know, things would be a bit better. But then again, it's like, well, shit, if I did, do, if I was so well off in my 20s, mm-hmm. would I be here today? You know, so it, that that's just tough. Like, I really, ugh. Well, it, you know, it sounds like it depends on how you view the whole rewind button yeah <laughs> oh god here comes the technical stuff well no because, i mean hey, because hey. if you rewind it like you you're gonna you want to be you want to rewind it back to a specific instance or situation mm-hmm. but like um, would you is I that, mean, like, is you that can, a sense of like, like you can't like say you can rewind you still, oh yeah you can yeah. rewind and go back still, to, you know like you in, rewind in and you stayed there you, at that present time because you didn't or, say or fast are you forward. aware of it happening already? Well, like, who the fuck am I going to fast forward to? Are you stupid? <laughs> just saying, like, you might get hit and shit. You don't even know. Well, like, no, but, like I mean, Sanders but quick, technically, you know, we always movie. had to hit you with the technicality because if you oh, rewind, man. if you rewind, that means you're going to stay there because there's only two buttons. Yeah, what if what if your whole state of mind, everything reverts back to that time? Uh huh. And then you have to start from there to build but up. But I took, when you asked the question, I took it as I'm, I still know what's going on. Right, you still know what's going future. on. I'm, I'm from the future, basically. R- Right, and I'll be able to handle it differently. It's like, and stuff. it's like if um, let's see, hmm. Marco's if, back already. I think if Nessa had cup. sex with a dude and she didn't approve, <laughs> and, and you put the rewind button, it's like, oh hell no, and just rewind, oh, rewind, got you back in your car. Like, it's like, like Bobby Valentino? <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Pause. I'll take it one deeper. Maybe you retract the A's and you want to rewind that off. Ooh. <laughs> That's what I said. You can't. <laughs> oh shit! You said you can't. No, you mm, you can't. So if you rewind, you can't. You're still you in the same state it. of mind because you got remember because. Oh well, shit! I, then I'm gonna pause this bitch. Because <laughs> then I could continue on. Right. I, you know. <laughs> yeah, because it's like because like if you keep going back, like you keep rewinding the entire. So time you're just seeing you're just seeing what yeah. happened, but you can't do anything to alter it. Right. Oh, then bitch. I'm, I mean, not you, bitch, but. Oh okay. I'm going. <laughs> All right. Well, that changes the game. I'm gonna pause it. Okay. Cause I, I re, I'm I'm thinking to rewind it to to do something different. Yeah, that's what to I To change thought. it. All right. What's the next one? Uh, the next one. Okay, this is all right. Let me double check. So, um, second was, would you rather not have sex for a year, or have it every day in your life but not orgasm ever? Sure, <laughs> that's easy. Second, because that's what I'm living right now. Next. <laughs> damn. I well, skip God us, damn. Man. <laughs> uh, so, uh, fellas, would you guys just set blue balls or? <laughs> <laughs> just not have sex for a whole year. Okay, I wouldn't Is, have does sex masturbation for a whole year count I've done that for, for having sex, for not or having a dry spill. I'm just, hey, I need to know these things. Yeah, you got to. I need to know these things. I told you, I told you. Yeah. You got to. Hey, the devils are in the details when you do these questions, yeah. bruh. You know, like MCU, Fox, and <laughs> technicalities, <laughs> brother. <laughs> 
they still feel never, about that episode ninety nine. Never, 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 never you let that. Never let that shit up. <laughs> Ever. All right. So let's see. So basically, you're saying like if I ain't getting no ass, but I got my hand, pretty much. Because technically, yeah, that's. I'm still hmm. releasing. I've, yeah, I've walked the streets for two years without doing either one. Damn, mm. you're you're a better man than me. Fuck that. I, I was. I, I was got a, a release. I was a Buddhist. That I'll year. say yeah. So basically, yeah. So you can basically. Damn. That's so fun. you could masturbate. If, if so, you having... can't masturbate. You can or can't. You can't okay, masturbate. Can't. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you could smash without busting a nut. Exactly. Can you, can you masturbate while you smashing without busting a nut? Fuck. <laughs> well, I finish off every time. <laughs> oh well, since you just gonna lie God there and damn, be, be a piece of shit. Damn, that's fucked up, man. That's some shit. Yeah, that's what I said. And none of you know that's like, yeah, that's you're fine. It's me, just the fellas. The boys, you, can't, you, can't, you can't really bust off. Yeah, you can't bust off. There's no point, right? I mean, there's no point I, smashing. I honestly wouldn't mind because there are moments where she I, can bust off. So. Yeah, yeah. There, there are moments. If there I are moments of time that in, that, I, that I could that I smash without you know busting off just for just to prove a point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have her legs shaking <laughs> just to prove a point. Like, yeah. Yeah, those you, you times, know, just a reminder. You, you patted it down, or you threw it at her, threw the rug, uh, rag at her, like. No, I still pat her up. down. You know, I'd be a savage clean in, in the bed. Up. I, I hate you. You know, you still, you still be, you still be a savage. You know, you smash her. You know, all that stuff, and then yeah. you pamper her afterwards. Give her a kiss, a little peck on the cheek, like good job, babe. You took warm, it like warm, a champ. Warm rag, <laughs> and you get the warm rag and pat her down. Just, you know, thank you for being a good sport. Oh my god, <laughs> good sport. You took this beating like a champ. Oh no. Yeah. Um, it's like a little. So, what, so what's your guys' answer? Little answer. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go the off the beaten path, and I'm just gonna smash without busting off. But I still enjoy the act of just let her know what it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll go with that too. Okay. Yeah, same here. So, yeah, that's pretty tough, tough question. That's what's like. That's oh, this thing will apply to you, but <laughs> mostly for us. All right. So last one. Uh oh. Are you ready? Uh oh. <laughs> last one. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. No, no, no. Because I'm like. You're my detail partner, so. Oh hell! Oh, with the details. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Hell. All right. Oh. Uh, oh. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, All right. Let me drink my water really quick. Go yeah, ahead. drink it now before drink I start describing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, so you got to pop top. Right, okay. Before it becomes hard to swallow. Go ahead. Are you ready? <laughs> or it's gonna come back up. <laughs> okay. Would you rather? <laughs> oh gosh. Would you rather? Would you rather eat a handful of maggots out of a dead corpse? Oh my gosh! What? Or drink a stranger's condom after they're done? Uh, <laughs> I'm eating maggots, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Yo. I'm eating maggots. Yo. I, 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 hey, hey, I, I, <laughs> just, just hypothetically, I'm get, I'm getting my shit off right now. I'm eating maggots off a dead corpse. I am not drinking fucking semen from another nigga's condom. You fuck. You, you said that. <laughs> period. <laughs> so. I guess be a, I'll be a maggie eating motherfucker, and I'm a, and, and that a and be like as Big Mom will say, and that's that. <laughs> yeah, so that's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it for me. I'm out of here. Y'all yeah. niggas go ahead and answer. See, I, I already <laughs> did my homework. I turned my shit in. TJ, I, I, here you go. Right. I wish that question would have been more uh, harder. Like put us in the corner. Like nigga. I don't know which one to pick. Type well, because I mean, I use mostly like from a, like, it's like, oh, if you were from a, from a bum or some shit like that. Like, cause I use that so many times in the past and stuff. Like, that's why it was pretty tough. So I was like, well, shit, what if they drink some <laughs> from a condom after they're already done and shit? So, or like a maggot from a dead course. I mean, they're dead. I mean, my and answer would been. be my answer would be the same as Marco's, even if you chase it up like a, a, a bum's dead corpse and, and a, and a, or a you healthy person's there. sperm or something like no nigga I'm not I mean <laughs> so you just said for the the sperm you said it's a stranger's sperm mm-hmm. they, the only reason why it's hard because I know you guys are like okay you're female you suck dick you swallow it, it should be a no brainer for you but I mean, the uh... fact that you're saying it's a stranger <laughs> and I say this because TMI but you know I sucked dick the other night I swallowed and I and I was gagging but it wasn't like the gag it was just like just just Ugh. Okay. 
I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You had to. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. So, yes. So, wait, wait, wait. What? I heard Shotty the back like rewind that shit. They ain't gonna just go over the audience. Man. Yes, and right. Rewind that shit. Okay. So, you just have some my nigga. question. So she I, I, she I swallowed some, before. She had some nigga. But Alfredo. it just so happened to be like a little. It, it was it was pretty thick, and I was like, uh, and it was to the point where he had asked me through through a text later. He was just like, "Do you uh like?" As far as swallowing, you know, do you like that? Is there any difference, you know, that I need to make? And I was like, I mean, well, sure, yeah. I mean, it's fine. If you like it, I love it. But, just I mean, don't it would eat be nice. Nigga. Yeah, don't eat shitlins. But just, <laughs> if you could eat a little we bit more more pineapples, then, you know, it might be a little a little better. Eat a little mm, better. You know, it would be good. It's a dirty day. So, if I'm going back to that. She wants some fruit salad and okay, not, well, and not well, that Alfredo sauce. If I'm going back sauce. to that, I, I know I felt some type of way. With my throat, so okay. It went well, down. let's it put it. Okay, let's put it. So wait, wait. wait. It's, it's, a hom- it's a homeless man's fucking condom. He what? already smashed, and you got to basically the drink from this condom. Smashing the fuck? We, we, we don't. We don't hey, ask the question. Hey, homeless niggas out here get pussy, man. Yeah, they do. I, I see him out in the streets in downtown, cuddle up with a girl on, on the fucking on the sidewalk. Like I want to gag. Like right it's now, nobody's just business. About that shit. Oh yeah, every well, you funny, you, every homeless you person you've seen in downtown. Oh yeah, just imagine no, but, him drinking this. Stuff. But you you put Nigga, in doves on it. I, a, I ain't fucking. You with put in doves on that. I was already feeling like that. You just said a stranger. It could have been a clean ass stranger, and I still was feeling this way. So I. So when you think back, did it go down smooth? <laughs> or did it give you problems? <laughs> like I said, I almost spit it back up. I was it because, that wait, like a champ. Well, but I mean, I mean, know, but, but I'm, like, I'm eating dead horse maggots. So was it like go. because of thought of it? Or the texture that it was, bothered it, you? It was the texture that bothered me. Oh, yeah. It was, like I said, it was a little too thick. It's all <laughs> wet. Milkshake uh, with it. Like, no. Some shit is in there. Uh, all that's why I said, <laughs> I said you swallowed that nigga Alfredo. Like, like. I'm going to need him so, to drink so more water. So, I'm going to, so I guess. All the juices is inside. It did it, so it, bring, it brought all the girls to the yard, his milkshake? So, uh, you're so done. if we kept it with the stranger, even though it's disgusting, I would have kept it that way. But if you throw in the bum factor, then I'm going to go with the fucking maggots. <laughs> Hepatitis A, no thank you. No thank you. I got the shot, <laughs> hey, but no still way. no thank you. Hepatitis A, no, no way. way. <laughs> can you get it from eating maggots out of a dead corpse? It's possible. What can They're you? dead. But that's all, But to me, I'm thinking fear factor type shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's a dead corpse. <laughs> well, they maggots probably clean, but. Yeah. No, it's not no fear factor. They're fucking dead. There's <laughs> no, no, no. Fear factor. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm with the shit about the fear factor. Like, I'm, it's I'm a closing corpse. my eyes and eating these maggots. It's been there for a while. <laughs> like, it's either deep, it's, either it's not fresh. <laughs> Sheesh. What what type of babies you want to eat? Oh my god. <laughs> Maggots. <laughs> yeah. I guess this but, is the yeah. first time we all agreed on something. Oh um, wow, yeah, because usually you have different eff- answers and stuff. But sometimes I try to be different for the yeah, fun of it. That, that was that was not gonna do that this episode. Yeah. Not not in one hundred. Not Mm-mm. this one. Nah, Maybe not this question. <laughs> all right. <laughs> But uh, no, yeah, saying. man. Um, go ahead. You want to wrap it up? That's oh no, it? Yeah, that's right. it. That's it. I hope you guys are happy about that. Hope it was awkward and disgusting enough for you, so you can start a conversation with your friends and other podcast listeners. Uh, <clears throat> it's time for the shout outs, man. Parting words, shout outs, and parting words segment before we wrap it all up. We're gonna start <laughs> it with the man, Mr. Clutch. <laughs> you gotta do it with the man, conviction. the myth, huh. you gotta the say legend, it like a G, the substitute teacher. Motherfucking G. To everybody out there, we definitely appreciate you guys tuning in to our hundred episode for you guys being in day one. I deeply appreciate you listening to my voice <laughs> and just being here and listening to what I have to say. Uh, on top of that, I just have to just say shout out to me. And you could be anywhere. You could be working. You could have been cleaning your room. You could be walking your dog. You could be taking a shit. You could be stuck in traffic. You could be doing anything. You could be working out. But I deeply appreciate you listening to my voice. Don't mind them, but shout outs to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Nessa. Oh, it's me? Okay. I normally go after M Easy, but okay. Um, <laughs> shout out to Mr. San Diego's very own Mr. Rudy Francisco. If y'all fucks with uh, poetry, he uh <laughs> he's a very dope poet. 
And um, he was repping San Diego. He was on uh, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. That's what's up. Oh, This past him. Thursday, um, like I said, I used to go to Elevated. And, like, from the, from the beginning, when they didn't even have a venue, they were going from location to location. And he would always tell me, like, when are you going to get on stage? I say never every single time, and I still haven't been on <laughs> because of my fear thing. But just the fact that someone coming out of San Diego, like you were saying about the whole Rob Stone thing, like I just think that that shit is so dope, so dope. Um, so shout out to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to us for holding it down for 100 episodes. Woo! Um, yeah. yay. Shout Whoa. out to all of our listeners. <laughs> From day one, we owe this shit. and to those that n- we have who just th- hopped the, on right now, yeah, it don't matter as long as you fuck with us. You know, we fuck with you. And shout out to the birthday boy, Marco, for starting this baby up. And you know, him and Mark with their little, pr- or you know, talking about it. It started with an idea, manifested, and look, a hundred it- fucking episodes later, here we are. So it all started us. at night at the taco shop. Right, 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 right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's it's true. That one night at that taco shop. I remember I worked out, was stank, I was, my body was stanking and shit, but you know what? That was a good combo we had. And yeah. the taco was shop was good. Long ass conversation because we were catching up too. Yeah, it was like cold. three in the morning. It was like three in the morning. Yeah. And shit. In the morning. Okay, no. Eat some tacos. All right, and easy. <laughs> uh, shout out to Monica, first and foremost. Of course. Uh, happy went. birthday, Marco. You know what I'm saying? We, well, been homies for almost 10 years, dog. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Really? Time flies. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Time yeah. flies. <laughs> shout outs to us doing 100 episodes. 100. And shout outs to the people hundred. listening from day one. Shout outs to all oh, Zach for being here in spirit. Oh, Zach. For every episode. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's very active in our group chat. Yeah, shout out to Jamal, aka <laughs> homie Dan. Yeah, he oh, came yeah. He came to Kendrick with us. Yeah, I saw him on the uh, IG story. Yeah. You know, um, Shout out to, to, to Shadi, you know, yep. the yeah, engineer. We call him the 11th member of our Wu-Tang. <laughs> <laughs> Red man. <laughs> That's our guy, man. He got the Shaolin beard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tiger style. <laughs> 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 he got that with the eye on deck. So, um, <laughs> what else I was going to say? Um, fuck, I hate when my mind goes blank. Oh. Uh, just recently heard the homie uh, John Keith album. Oh, okay. How yeah, was yeah. It? It's pretty. It's pretty dope. I, mm, okay. I, I got to give him a shout out. It was a. Uh, I, I could play it all the way through, and his subject matter is pretty interesting. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it to the people to listen. Okay, sure. I'm gonna give him a listen. Check it out. I'm gonna give him a listen. Uh, all right. Now, to the main guy. Oh, me. All right. I mean, already gave like a little sentimental uh, pre-roll, <laughs> so. Well, this is the end, buddy. Rewind back to that. <laughs> Pause it. Oh, and the album's called Lost Boys. Sorry. And rewind keep it. Keep informed. Okay. okay, Lost Boys. Go listen to it. John Keats, support your own. There yeah. you go. All right. <clears throat> shout outs. My first shout out will go to NFL prospect Shaquem Griffin, a linebacker at a UCF, which is the University of Central Florida. This man has lost his hand due to a birth defect and still managed to bench press 225 pounds, 20 times with a prosthetic hand at the NFL Combine. And he just recently clocked in a 4.38 40 time. That is inspiring because, like I said before early in the show, when you rid your when you get rid of all your excuses, you are left with your results. And even with him having one hand as a linebacker, as an NFL prospect, who still got invited to the Combine and still doing great numbers there shows that you can do anything in this world. Um, You know, one of my favorite social media comedians, Tony Baker, he didn't start stand-up comedy until he was 31. A great director by the name of Ava DuVernay, who has a a movie coming out, Wrinkle of Time, she didn't pick up the camera until she was 32. So, and the one of the high elder actors, actresses Mm -hmm. for Black Panther, the really older, older lady, she didn't pursue acting until her well in her 80s, and she is now 91, and she is in Black Panther. So what I'm saying from this first shout-out, it is never too late to start pursuing your dreams. As long as you have breath in your body, 
blood coursing through your veins. You could get up in the morning, go out there, and be great. Mm -hmm. uh, my second shout-out goes out to, to the developers of MoviePass. I didn't know these two brothers were black. So shout out to the founders of Stacy Spikes and Hammett Watt. They founded the movie app, uh, movie pass app back in 2011. It started to gain popularity in last August. As of now, they have 1.5 million subscribers, and their app is supported by over 90% of theaters nationwide. So if you guys don't know what movie app, movie pass is, basically it's a subscription based service that you could pay a monthly of basically a ten dollars a month and you could catch any regular 2d standard movie and basically almost any theater out there so like if you want to see black panther right now you go ahead and see it uh one time every day so if you know if you're a big comic book movie fan you know all these movies are coming out you got affinity war coming out soon you got all these other from here until like 2050, all these comic book movies, you're gonna go broke trying to catch up on them. So you might as well get that movie pass, invest. invest in a movie pass, and you could just keep going day in and day out, whatever you want to. Um, so I just wanna give a shout out to those brothers. And also they want to set the standard for black entrepreneurs in the tech industry, That's and dope. which is uh, you know where most black people are leading towards too. So. I, I implore them. Those are these those these are all my shout outs and I hope they inspire you uh one way or another. <clears throat> so I like that first or second shout out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean I like them all, but the one that's cause it stood out because me and Kenneth, we always go by this saying never say die. Yep. Yep. I learned that. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. And for that last one I forgot, uh shout out to anybody that's willing to pay us. To do <laughs> right. <laughs> to advertise them. Wow. As you can see, we've done a hundred episodes. We're consistent. Yeah, we're consistent, but we got other things besides consistency to worry about. But if you enjoy listening to this podcast as much as we love making it, because we do what we love and love what we do. And if you're not being your motherfucking self and come get this truth, you know what I gotta say. This the gig is up. up. And we out. Yeah, we are. We old as shit. <laughs> we old as dirt. We're <laughs> amateurs now. And thank you for listening. Oh, and viewers oh, yeah. like you. Just don't eat it. Shitland. And viewers, like you, call, you said, shitlins. Yeah, we had a whole combo. Sh about shitlins, that. or sh so oh, y'all remixed it. Yeah. Shitlins. Like when, yeah. when, when you hear it. <laughs> oh yeah. When you hear it. Oh, uh, so I implemented a new uh, segment where we could just go through topics like that. <laughs>